Check, check. One, two, three. Hello, hello, hello. Today is Thursday on my end. By the time this goes on to the VOD channel, I, well, hopefully tomorrow. So hopefully for the VOD channel, it's Friday. Hello, VOD channel. Good to see you again. Happy to be here. You know what kind of blew my mind? I mean, I, I guess I'm not too surprised because usually whenever we go a while without covering one of the games that we cover, the first iteration of a VOD on that game that goes out, usually um, people are pretty, people usually react pretty positively to it. Uh, the Morrowind one had had a pretty uh, positive response. I think it was like, you know, YouTube always ranks things on the last 10. I think it was like number two or something like that. So that was surprising. Ikbar, how are you? Did you get, did you beat the alert? Ikbar, it might just be you and me chilling right now. Exactly the right timing to check up on Twitch. Yeah, I, I guess so. You got us right at the start. So we're doing another round. I guess I, I'll wait a little bit to kind of explain things. I hate how my left hand gets cut off. I like talking with my hand, but I still I need to figure out my camera setup because look how cut off I am to this side. I got to scoot. I'm all the way on like the far side of my desk if I want to fit in here. Anyway, good to see everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm with my parents for two weeks in Myrtle Beach. Vacation? Twitch sent a notification about this stream 12 times in a row. Wait, like just this stream? Or are you talking about consecutive streams? Looking for a new apartment. Can't wait to watch this on the VOD channel. Hope everyone has a good day. Thank Inky, you, Colin, best of luck with the apartment search. Jeeve. Hello to the Twitch chat and the VOD viewers. Only the awake ones. That's right. If you fell asleep on the VOD channel, we love you very much. But. Wake up! Good morning. Good morning. If you fell asleep, this is your alarm clock. I got laid off. Ah, drop stitch. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're holding up all right. It feels good to be done with Fallout for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely adored. I absolutely adored the um, Iron Man challenge in Fallout 4, even though we totally cheated. I make a joke about that early on in the video where I'm like, this is the Iron Man or Bronze Man. Well, by the end of it all, it's more like Tin Man. Um, but I loved it. Just this stream, user submitted Tez Quest filled my... What? Really? Sometimes Twitch notifications are really strange. They do weird things like that. So, um, if you guys are curious, exclamation point mod list. I finally, I should have done this before. This was a huge oversight on my end, and I apologize for that. When we did Skyrim 2, right? It's more of like a lightweight Skyrim 2 because there are a lot of vanilla plus overhauls for Skyrim on the Nexus. I didn't even make a collection. And it, so so if you go to exclamation point mod list, it will take you to the actual Nexus collection of all those mods. So if you Thank want you to play on the same that. version that I did for that video and for that channel, a uh, series of streams, Thank you so much. I, I, I it was an, it, that was anonymous, but I appreciate. it. I'm not sure if it actually played the audio, but I was listening the whole time to that one. Um, well, thank you. That was very kind of you. Um, shit. What was I saying before? I was rudely interrupted by kindness. Um. Oh. Okay. So. I yeah. I made like a video going through my individual mod list when I could have just uploaded the collection. And people could have one Thank click you, installed sir. everything and tried it out. Uh, so from now on, if I have a lot of mods, like I'm still playing Skyrim on the same version right now, whatever version I am currently playing on and whatever version is used in a video, I will just link that collection. If you have any interest or you, maybe you even just want to look at the mods, you don't even want to play them. You're just curious about looking at how things change and 
what gets used. Um, so for today, and what we're going to do over this next series of streams is do... I, I've had a lot of fun every time we've done user-submitted quests. So we're doing it again, because you guys... You guys come up with decent ideas, at least in the community post. I have to refine and tweak things just a little bit. I have about 11 or 12 picked out. I don't have all of them refined. Um, and the two that we're going to try today. Thank you, kind sir. Bro, I love the content. One of them I, I had to tweak. I don't know why Twitch is not notifying me. Sorry, I've missed a lot. Big Bad Iron, thank you so much for 18 months. Don't worry about it at all. Well, I mean... If you want to be here and you're frustrated that Twitch doesn't send the notifications, that I understand. But if you haven't been able to make it, don't worry about that. It's all good. That's that's what the VOD channel's for. Yeah, so for this one, we're going to do Skyrim user submitted quests. We're going to do Oblivion user submitted quests. And we're going to do Morrowind user submitted quests. Thank one of the Morrowind sir. quests is mine. I wrote it. Because I wanted an excuse to put Morrowind on the channel again. Uh, but today we have one in Skyrim and we have one in Oblivion. Chip in. Chip in. Chip in. You guys are being so... See, this is why I'm waiting. Thank you, kind uh, How does one submit a quest? So, Z-Man, I made a community post a couple of weeks ago. If you go to my channel and just go to the community tab, you'll be able to see it. It... It might get buried just Thank because it's a couple weeks sir. old and people have largely already seen the post or upvoted the ones that they like. And I typically draw usually from the top because it's a decent gauge on the Thank concepts that people sir. resonate with the most. Hi, Juve. I found you through the Skyrim door randomizer vid while I was high as balls. It was such an amazing adventure. Thanks so much. I want to play. I want to play the Skyrim door randomizer Turns again. Turns out there are two Wood Elf sisters who always fight together. Thank you all. Okay, I, I have to catch up on uh, quite a lot of alerts. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Of course, very generous of you all. Also, I have. I don't have my actual like alert. Uh, what's it called? What's the thing called that notifies me? Activity feed. That's what it's called. Now I can catch up on all these. Thank you all. Uh, I very much appreciate it. We're doing okay with production on the next video project. Probably going to be until next week, sadly. Um, but hopefully, since we're starting to record this one early, we can get back on that two-week cadence that we were doing a great job with earlier in the year. Space Lemons, thank you for giving out two community subs to the channel. Ikbar, I appreciate that. <laughs> you found the door randomizer while high as balls. Yeah, that's definitely a high... That's a fun that that's definitely like a mod that you should install on your Xbox while stoned and like see how far you can survive. Bill Piello, thank you for the prime. Honky Tonk Bachonka Chonk. That's a fantastic name. Thank you for the prime. Triple Blue Butt, thank you for giving out a sub. Big Bad Iron, thank you for 18 months. Clail, thank you for one month. Protect Me Cone, thank you for six months. Okay, there were a few that I missed in there. Thank you all. Thank you, kind <clears throat> sir. Can we get some Mommy Serrano content at some point? Can we get some Mommy Serrano content? I like Serrano, Thank but you, I'm not in sir. love with Serrano like so many people seem to be. I don't know. Maybe maybe we should do the Dawn Guard DLC at some point. Is this a good one to smoke to? Because I am. I feel like most of my streams are decent to get high to. I hope. It's the goth girl thing. I typed sexiest Tez streamer <laughs> and it got here. Shut up. No, 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 no. Gary Thank Charlie. You, That's, I, I think I'm in love with her drool. You think you're in love with Serana? <clears throat> oh, you're right. Frost is not. Frost, uh, duh, God, I don't... I had so much more fun with Iron Man, even though the Iron Man rule set we played under was objectively more bullshit than... Fr mm. Hold on. No, Frost was still more bullshit. Frost was cool, though. Frost was just... painful, is all. It, it's really, really hard. But I do like uh, the concept of Frost. I really enjoy sort of a... 
it's just a completely different way to tackle the map of Fallout 4. And Fallout 4's map fucking slaps, so... As frustrating as Frost is, I have to give it its flowers. It's a very impressive project. It was, yeah, it was made by the same as... Um... Dust. It was made by the same group that did Fallout Dust. Speaking of big Fallout mods, Fallout London's got to be pretty close to launching. I know they were pushing things back um, to sort of go through Starfield's launch. I would assume a decent amount of their team also wanted to play Starfield and take a break from working on the mod. But everything I've seen from Fallout London looks super promising. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward. I don't know when it's supposed to launch. I thought it was 2023. Could be wrong. The video didn't do it justice. Watching the VODs, I felt the pain, but the video was less painful. That was intentional. I don't want the video or like the final video to ever be as painful as the full experience because that's less fun. Like the nature of the type of like challenges we do for the most part, there's going to be a lot of downtime and a lot of slogging through some trash. And I feel like some of that can be brushed over. Stick to the stick to some of the fun stuff. I feel like this is a bit overwhelming. What is? Can you beat Frost with no sleep? Are we doing only Skyrim today? Uh, my hope is that we can do Skyrim and Oblivion. But with all that out of the way, let's. Thank you, kind sir. Little baby Garp will be with us soon. Is that the name we're going with? Garp? Derrico, thank you for seven months. Uh, Decred, thank you for three months. Akanwa, thank you for six months. Lesser H, thank you so much for the Prime. Okay, now we're all caught up. Let's talk about our first quest. Let's talk about the first one. Damn it! How can you kill a god? I'm in the a middle! Intoxicating I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Triple blue butt. Thank you for giving out 10. That was very kind of you. But damn it. Hey, hey. Come on. I'm, ab I'm about to be delivering a, a, a crucial contextual information for the rest of this stream. And I would appreciate complete and utter silence, reverence, respect. That was very kind of you. Thank you, blue, blue, blue butt. Now. We're only doing two quests today. I only have two of them prepped up and put into slideshow format. I think I fucking knocked it out of the park. I'm going to need your help, though, chat, to set up this first adventure, this first quest. Your participation is incredibly important. But I need you to follow along for about two seconds. The first quest! Exclamation point, I think rules, right? Or is it exclamation point quest? Oh shit! I, hold on, I didn't give you guys a command for it. <laughs> My bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't give you guys a command for the uh, slideshow. Sorry. Sorry. My bad, my bad. That, that's on me. Bad streamer. Time out. I got this. I can do this. Exclamation point. Quest. Cool down 32 seconds. Okay. Now that should work. Oh, someone beat me to it. Okay. All right. Our first quest. Assassin's Speed. I came up with that name. Now, the, now the, the author of this quest, they didn't come up with that name. I used my incredible creativity and wordplay to come up with that name. I think I crushed it on this one. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was very, very proud that this popped into my head yesterday when I was putting it together. I didn't come up with the concept of this quest. Only the name. But when you're selling a movie and you're putting the trailer in theaters, a lot of time the title is very important. You don't get it. Thank you, kind sir. Keep up the awesome streams. What do, you, what do you mean? What do you mean you don't get it? 
Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Speed. It's funny. It's funny. I'm funny. Le anyway. Now, this might be really hard to read. It's very hard for me to read, but I had to fit all the lore that they put into their comment. They thought about this very thoroughly. I wanted to make sure that it was all on there, and it was kind of hard to fit because the font that I used didn't really play well with being jammed onto one slide. So the original lore that they wrote... Oh, my, my bad. By the way, I... The author of this quest, Rogue Raven 1701. Rogue Raven 1701, thank you for your contribution. You are an assassin from the Morag Tong in Skyrim and have a list of 10 people who must die. None of them can be killed by the same method. If you get caught, you must pay the price with another soul at random by any means you wish. If you cannot kill the 10 targets by the time the clock runs out, you must admit defeat and sacrifice yourself at Bard's Leap Summit. Now, the rules for this one, I had to tweak them just a little bit to try and get it to fit what we normally do and kind of fit the sandbox and put some structure around this. Not too much regulation, but a little bit. We have to kill 10 civilians at random by different methods. How different they are, we'll have to figure that out when we get in game, and you guys will probably have to be the judge of that. Expert survival difficulty, no save scumming, so we can probably just use natural checkpoints. Or maybe once we arrive on scene, that's kind of where our checkpoint is. Or no checkpoints. Maybe just fuck it, no checkpoints. If I go to jail, I'm, I'm going to jail. I think that's what no save scums really implies. So if we get caught, if we get arrested and go to jail or killed by the guards, I think that should qualify as getting caught. I don't think just being approached by the guards should count as getting caught. Although I'll do my best to not even alert them. Now the timer, it's not an actual timer and I'm covering up the words, but the challenge, that's what that word says, is challenge. The challenge ends if I am touched by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. You know the random event in Skyrim where the Dark Brotherhood assassin will track you down and try to attack you? If they start tracking me and attacking me, since we're on survival, I can't fast travel away from them, but I also can't fight them. It becomes this game of tag where once the Dark Brotherhood assassin spawns in, I have to just run away from them. If they touch me, the entire thing is over and I lose. Oh, whoop, that, that's the next one. That one is for Oblivion. Let's just focus on the first one for now. Now, I need 10 people who must die. I need 10 assassination targets, and I need your help to come up with them. So, chat, try to think of a varied list of Skyrim NPCs who are non-essential. I need you to give me their name, their location, or not their exact location, but their rough location. What city are they in? And then I need you to give me a brief, everyone is saying Nazim. Every, everyone is already saying Nazim. Can we relax on the Nazim? Hey, fine. I'll, we'll put Nazim on the list. <laughs> Nazim. Whiterun. That's pretty obvious. I, I feel like, okay, number one on the list, Nazim. But I also need you to give me why. Why do they need to die? What reason do we have for assassinating them? Why is the Morag Tong coming to Skyrim to obliterate these ten poor souls? Because he's a cunt. <laughs> okay, Nazim, Whiterun, because he's an ass. I feel like that's going to be the reasoning for most of these murders. Is it just in general people are going to think someone's mean? Please make Delphine unessential through console. No. Delphine survives. I hate to, I hate to break it to you all. Feindal is trying to have sex with my wife. <laughs> okay. All right. Feindal. Riverwood. Had sex with my wife. None of these are even going to fit. This whole thing is going to end up being tiny. Feindal. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm dying. Okay, Riverwood. I need another target. What do you got? Sven? Sven? Sven's already in Riverwood. 
Miko because he never shuts up. Rolf Stonefist, racist dude. I think Rolf is essential. Is he not? Kill Sven because he's blonde. <laughs> Grelod in Riften. I don't think we can kill Grelod. Maybe we'll make her the 11th. I think we have to avoid killing Grelog. I think that might trip out some stuff with the Dark Brotherhood random encounter. A real assassin would left justify. <gasps> oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at you, Chad, teaching me all about being an assassin. Lemkill, Rorik's dead. He hates his daughters. I like it. I like it. Lemkill. Rorik's dead. Hates children. And as evidenced by many of my previous challenges in Skyrim, I have uh, no problem being a parent. Uthgird the Unbroken, she lost her shit and killed the guy in the Companions. Did she? The Radiant Raymond, is it the Radiant Raymond? I think that's Oblivion. That just sounds like a shop in Oblivion. There's no way that's in Skyrim. Bellathor, please. We kill Bellathor so much. I feel like we're always killing Bellathor. Astrid, because she is a rival guild. Yes, I, I don't think we can do anything to actually start the Dark Brotherhood, though. Angie, camp by Falkreath, has that archery test that is annoying. Okay, Angie. Falk wreath. Annoying. Angrenor. I need, I need, I need a, I'm begging Aaron. He kept stalking my wife even after I married her. Yeah, but that's not, that's too specific. That's too specific. Or I guess it's not too specific because I have Fandal on here for having sex with my wife. Please kill Lydia. No, we can't do Lydia because that, in that involves us doing... St you got to think of characters that we can kill without starting a quest who are non-essential from the beginning. Thank you, kind sir. Happy to be able to make another stream. Looking forward to these quests. Buddy boy, thank you for the prime. That one Argonian dude that sets you up on the pirate ship, I think he's essential. Kelselmo, because it would be really difficult. I, I want to say Kelselmo is essential as well. Nepos the nose in Markarth. His is way too big. It breaks my immersion. <laughs> okay. Nepos. Markarth. Immersion breaking nose. Now we're really compiling. This is a great list of assassin targets. Oh, Gyokul, you don't have to thank me. Thank yourself. Kelselmo is not essential. Okay, w where does Kelselmo reside and why are we killing him? Rolf. Is, is Rolf in Windhelm? I, I, I swear Rolf is essential. Thank you, kind sir. Friends. Mikhail for being a frat boy predator. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where's Mikhail? Where's Mikhail at? Mikhail, uh, where's he at? Mikhail's in. Oh, oh, he's in the. He's at the inn in White Run. Mikhail, White Run, frat boy. Is he even a frat boy? I'll, we'll have to. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll find out when we investigate him. Banning the cannibal stable owner. Ah, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because we just found out that he's a cannibal. Banning. Uh, we need to vary this a little bit because we have White Run, Riverwood, Rorikstead, Falkreath. That's good variety. Markarth, good variety. But then we have another White Run and another Markarth here. Banning and Markarth, cannibal. It, 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 that feels a little bit hypocritical of me, though. Right? Because the last time we played Skyrim, we were a cannibal. Anska, for obvious. That Which one's Anska answer. again? I know Anska. Woot woot. Solitude, Radiant Raymond. All right, who's that Radiant Raymond again? This is a lot of names. I need. I want one in Solitude. 
Uh, let's get let's get one in solitude. Somebody said Radiant Raymond. Rolf is in Windhelm. Okay, so we'll do Rolf. Windhelm. Hates Dark Elves. That's not as funny of a reason as being a frat boy or having, having an immersion-breaking schnoz. Aaron is the dude that follows. Ah, you're right, you're right, Aaron. Let's kill Aaron. Aaron, Riften, Clingy. <laughs> he's, he's a bit too clingy for me. You know, he's always following that gal around. He's got to go. Now we just need one more. We need, I would like one in, uh, what town should we look for? Uh, just give me a wild card. Radiant Raymond Sisters. They always criticize you. We already have one in, do we have, oh, we don't have one in Solitude. Okay. Radiant Raymond Sisters. Um, insulted me. I don't know if they'll insult me or not. This is bothering me. I need more spacing between the lines. How do I do that? How do I increase the spacing? Ah, so much better. Anska ruined the Reach region only run. I'm trying to remember. Oh, they ins oh, that's right. Radiant Raymond. They insult your uh, they insult your clothes. Every time you go in, they act like you're dripless. All right, let's let me save. Let me let me let me get this onto the slideshow. We've got our 10 candidates for murder. Killing. In Roblox, in Skyrim. All right, I put the hit list on the slideshow so you can see it. I won't be able to X them off on it, or maybe I could. It just would be cumbersome and annoying. Honestly, being cumbersome and annoying, that sounds like grounds to put it on the hit list. I'm going to kill the slideshow. Annie Banani, thank you for five months. Michelle, thank you for 13 months. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Buddy Boy, thank you for 10 months. Courier, thank you for the 100 bits. Pokey Snow, thank you for three months. I'm all caught up on those. Oh, Anska! She ruined the final boss. That's right, that's right, that's right. I remember Anska now. I don't think she would be much of a challenge to assassinate without getting in trouble. All right, we got our rules. Everything is set. I have no clue how this is going to go. Yeah, reverse pickpocket poison. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? I need disco lights. Carpels, thank you for giving five to the channel. Very kind of you. I appreciate it. Rolf is essential, but his friend Angrenor is killable. All right, it, it, we can kill his friend and count it. Remember, every single one of these targets has to be killed in a unique assassination style. Somebody asked earlier what our time limit is. Our time limit is whenever the Dark Brotherhood assassin event occurs, if they touch us, we lose. If we get hit one time, the challenge is over. I don't know what race to play. I would like to keep the character we play consistent between all three games that we cover. At least, like, for this series of streams. I want the same character to be in Skyrim, Morrowind, and Oblivion. 
Uh, Fusro does not bad, but we'd have to play a lot of the main story. The, I do not like the lighting in this room. It's 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 the lighting in the in this like spawn room that's blank. Uh, what haven't we played in a while? I feel like I haven't played a Breton. I feel like uh, yeah. Should I play a Breton? I've never played a Breton, and I feel like people are going to make fun of me for playing a Breton. I, I don't know what the advantages or disadvantages are really going to be right now. I don't want to think about it too hard. I played Dark Elf too much. I'm going with a Breton. Oh. Wait, we can still do... See if we can find a cool preset. Are there any cool presets that exist for Breton? Um, no, there's not a ton. We'll go with this one. I don't know if I'll be able to recreate this look in any of the other Tez games, but I'll try. Give him a little bit of... Gotta give him some muscle. Or not. Okay, doesn't want to click properly. Here's our character. I'm not going to think about it too hard. Bring back Shady Sam. All right, it's been a while. Shady Sam, welcome back. I haven't had... I, was Shady Sam the first character we did when we did Without Leaving Whiterun? I think it was. Blood just played Dark Elf. No, we've done Dark Elf too much. No starting kit. No, we start this. Mm -mm. No. We start this dry. We go in with nothing. That's how we got to start it. Time to die. All right, time to begin. Okay, this. I just got here. I. I just got here. I, uh, <laughs> have you no respect for what we do on this channel? Mods are currently loaded. Do you wish to continue loading this save? When the fuck has this game ever asked me about the mods I have installed? Okay, at least it auto saved right before we... Did it spawn me in Bleak Falls? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we start in Bleak Falls. Hands are tied. And we get rid of everything. Get out of my inventory. I think I need to do... I need to check one quick thing. OBIS. I think I have to actually activate OBIS. I do. Okay, we're in. Now, somebody remind me, who is the first? I don't have the kill hit, uh, the hit list. I don't have it up on my other monitor. So what, who is our first target again? Oh, Nazim. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I know how to get to Whiterun from here, so killing Nazim shouldn't be too bad. Should be relatively easy. Uh, survival mode? Yes, we have to play in survival. Oh, shit. Ow. Religion? No, no religion yet. <laughs> Stop it. All right, it's way too cold out here. Hey, at least the sky looks really beautiful today. This would suck so bad. I can just feel the snow crunching between his toes. Huh. I don't like it. I'm putting the ass in assassin. You know it. Now, should we... I have to think about the methods of assassination. We have runes. No, no. Kerpels, we're starting naked every single time. Basic wolf. Might as well get some cash. Oh, 
All right, so I think a decent strategy here would be to use some of the harder assassination techniques early. Or maybe start by leveling up Sneak. We definitely have to get our Sneak leveled up. They, that should be number one. We should probably do some assassin training first. No quick loot tab mod. I don't have one. Oh, you know what I meant to get was a weapon wheel. I like the... Hold on. Yeah, you all taught me about that. I cannot believe I didn't know about freaking hotkeys. 2,000 hours I have basically spent looking at Skyrim, studying Skyrim, streaming Skyrim, editing Skyrim, writing Skyrim. And I just fucking learned about hotkeys. I wish I chose Dark Elf so I could have been real Morag Tong. No, no, no. The, the Morag Tong has brought itself into the new age. The new Morag Tong is diverse with cultures from all around Tamriel. Whereas the Dark Brotherhood is reclusive, annoying, stealing all of my kills. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go to jail early. I want Thank to try to go to jail sir. as few times as possible. That's the goal here. I want to get clean kills. All right, new rule. Just because I like in post to do points and stuff like that, new rule. I'm adding it right now. If we get a clean kill, we don't get caught by the guards, nobody questions our murder, then we get three points. If we just kill them and all hell breaks loose, we get one point. <laughs> New point system. Mikey Tiny, thank you for the prime. Quinny of the Green, thank you for four months. Ooh, what's gonna happen here? Ooh, okay, we can start with a nice little speech increase. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Do I even have gold? Did the game start me with gold? Will this change your mind, officer? Welcome to White Run, friend. Go right on in. I don't think he took any gold. It pays to have a silver tongue, baby. We'll pay All we'll right, pay where is the best place to get? Ooh, I wonder if we could get decent sneak XP if we went into the sewers. Also, maybe the sewers could be our escape route out of town. <gasps> that could keep us from getting caught. Ooh, Skyrim 2, you are making the sandbox that much more delicious. Where does Nazim sleep? Wait, does anybody know where Nazim goes to sleep? We could track Nazim throughout the day, and like a true assassin or a hitman, we could identify the drunken hunt. Wait, what? He really goes to the drunken huntsman. Nobody goes to the drunken huntsman. This is like the <laughs> this is the most forgotten building in the entire game. I would argue. In terms of how much foot traffic this in the world of fantasy RPGs, I would argue that this road right here, Thank this little kind, this fork in the road, this has to be one of the most iconic stretches of road in any fantasy RPG like ever. Like who every I feel like everybody knows Whiterun. Do you take a left turn? Do you go straight? Most people would probably go straight and then go left to go up to Dragon's Reach. I'm actually partial to taking... I know, I know, I'm one of those weird fuckers that likes to take this lo this line up to Dragon's Reach. But just think about the sheer amount of people who have played Skyrim, whatever version of it, and have come right to this crossroads. The amount of people that have decided to go into this building here has to be 1%. Maybe 0.5% on a, on a on a bad day. This building is completely forgotten. So it only makes sense that Nazim lives here, the prick. Okay, nice. Not too many witnesses in here, only one. 
Oh my god. Oh, no way. Nazim has sex? That's actually dis- but maybe they're not having sex. What do you think- What do you think their relationship's like if they sleep this- I don't know. He is married- <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nazim's getting more action than all of us. This is why we gotta kill him. I won't stand for that. Why, you little filcher. Oh shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, all right. Wait, no, 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 no. This means I have to I have to murder an extra person now. <laughs> we already failed. It's too early for this. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll pay off my bounty one gold. Smart man. Now come along with us. Oh, this is going to take the entire damn stream. That's ridiculous. They're only coming after me because I'm the only naked person in town. I'm the only person confident enough to let the wind flow between my man boobs. Well. All right, new rule. Since I have to kill an extra person, it only makes sense if we're gonna kill Nazim for both being a douche and having more sex than all of us, I should kill his wife, Alam, as well for having sex with Nazim because by association, that means she sucks too. Both literally and figuratively, I guess. Haha. <laughs> sex jokes. Now. How do I kill them both? Alam just has to die. Alam does not count towards the methods of murder that we can use. We're definitely, oh no, I'm not gonna wanna kill them. I'm gonna have to kill one of them before they go back home to bed. Alam might be easier to kill first cause she's separate from Nazim. If I kill one of them in the bed, I'm getting caught. You know, let's let's get some sneak training. Okay, if I'm gonna kill a high value target, two high value targets, I gotta train. I enjoy this work well enough. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Spend all my money on food. <clears throat> Need it. Anything else? Just let me know. I'm gonna have to make some money while I'm in town too. Cause I'm I'm gonna have to sleep. Alright, uh shoot. This is actually kinda tough. Well, I'm gonna need a weapon. So I need a job. Okay, let's get some money first. We're back to doing this. <clears throat> Don't you need to murder the guard if caught or go to jail? No, I need to murder one extra person so we've decided that Alam must also die join oh yeah true we could just join the companions and get a little bit of free equipment that way you can only make money from selling the stuff from people you kill I feel like that would be too much Well, this is fun. I, I like these. I like these moments. Ooh, a bear trap assassination? That's a brilliant idea. I think you can craft bear traps as well. Or maybe I'm able to. Bear trap assassination also might not lend us any guilt. Let me check the forge. Some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I swear. No, nothing in there. Maybe oh, maybe I'm thinking of Fallout 4. 
I think I'm thinking of Fallout 4. How many hours I've spent chopping wood in Skyrim? Well, it's about to get 90 seconds longer. Is it the ordinate? Oh, it's the, <coughs> yeah, it's the ordinator uh, perk mod. Am I winning? No, I'm not. We've already gotten arrested. This sucks. You know, one of these days we're gonna start a Skyrim challenge where I'm at level 100, I'm all powerful, instead of this start from the bottom every single time nonsense. I think people like that though. I feel, I feel like it makes it a little bit more fun to just start as, whoa. Might've been the most insane voice crack I've ever had. Thank you, that was kind of embarrassing. Sir. The Virgin user submitted quests versus the Chad user designed interiors for the roguelike mod. Oh, uh, we don't have to. We don't, we don't have to be in competition, Nethalithic. Although, in my opinion, yes. Uh, if, if you are interested, Nethalithic is designing uh, a cool roguelike mod for Skyrim. If you would like to submit any ideas for custom designed interiors for that mod, there is info on the Discord channel for it. Now, enough distractions. Okay, I'm, I'm getting way, way, I'm getting distracted here. I got my Skyrim tattoo today. I got Alduin and we watched your VOD while doing it. Horror aesthetic, that's awesome. Where'd you get the, uh, where'd you get Alduin tatted at? Is it the face? Is it the whole <sighs> wings out? Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got the clean mugger. I enjoy this work well enough, but honest goal for honest work. It feels good to make an honest living. Else, 90 gold? I can do a lot with that. No. Fist fights for money? Well, maybe. I can't even afford the fist fight right now. Bel Why is Belthor's not open? I need a lockpick. Now we got some money. Let's. Uh, I bet the companions is an easy place to level up sneak. the footwork keep your balance nice no technically the list now has 12 people on it oh no this is so much harder blade and blunt uses it uses stamina for sneaking maybe it makes it level up a little bit faster but as soon as i run out of stamina i immediately go to detected I didn't take into account that this would be harder. Like, oh, can I? Oh, what do you mean? It's only cosmetic. I'm going to need more stamina. It makes no sense that sneaking costs stamina. I think it does. Have you ever tried walking like this? Hunched over and crouched? It's incredibly difficult. Sneak behind the old lady as she sweeps. Now, nah, missed opportunity to rhyme sneak with sweep. As I sneak, she does the sweep. Okay, this is gonna stink to level up. Did I, did I get any XP? A little bit of XP there. Come on. Let's pop a level up here. Looks like I can stay hidden. So it just takes away, um, it just takes away stamina, but you can keep sneaking. Level 16. All right, we're moving. Time to put on auto walk. This is how a real assassin trains. Go to Windhelm and pay the lady there to train you. I have no money. Not sure I would do that. Join the companions, become a werewolf, use that to try to assassinate your most difficult target. That's a good idea, Zaki, but I'll probably avoid being a werewolf just because we did that in a recent video. I think we did, we, we did that for pay to win, right? Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I did get my treadmill moved into my office. I did get my treadmill moved down, uh, moved into my office. So training for the inevitable Skyrim, but my encumbrance is real. Challenge will begin probably sometime in a couple weeks. What is the first game you ever played? Toy Story 2 on the PC. Toy Story 2, it also would have been on PlayStation 1 at the time. I'm not getting XP. What the fuck? No XP? Maybe I only get XP if I extend or if I expend stamina. I don't know if I can do it continuously. Although I don't I know, I don't know if I could list Toy Story 2 as my first game. I think it would have to be Spyro, the original Spyro is on there on PS1. But I want to say my brother and I were playing games on our computer before we ever had a PlayStation 1. Um The PlayStation 1 is like the first console I remember having any memory of. Siphon Filter, Spyro 1, Dave Mira's BMX. That's how I found out about the band Sublime. Loving is what I got. I said, remember that. Um, I don't remember the exact first game. I know we played like Madden 2000 the American football game on our computer. I'm not getting XP. What the fuck is going on? Why am I not getting XP? Yeah. Going to enjoy killing you. Are you guys done fighting? They're still going at it. Ah! Are you gonna let me watch or not? Until next time. Don't mind them. Just working out some issues in the old way. Until next time. Brill looks like he can't even comprehend what's happening right now. He's like, oh my god. Stop! Please! Stop fighting! Going to enjoy killing you. Kill it? Hey. How long are they supposed to fight? Twelve septums on the girl. Look at that. I like him. Good to see him go. I yield! I yield! Oh! Hey, hey! <laughs> Don't punch the spectators. <laughs> take it easy. Wait, did he say? Did you take a look at it? Athos, you better be careful, or you're next on my list. Can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? All right, we need to get moving. I'm not getting any sneak XP in here. Let's try somewhere else. I feel like Dragon's Reach is going to be easier for getting sneak XP. There's a lot of targets in individual rooms. Why not the bear at the tutorial cave? Um. Honestly, A, we skipped the tutorial, and B, that's kind of boring. IMO. Right, like, sneak at the Greybeards to level it up. Sneak at the bear at the tutorial. I feel like that's... I feel like I've done that before. It doesn't, it doesn't excite me. But, looking around for places in Whiterun to grind our sneak level, that gets me a little excited. That, that's interesting. No one sees me. No one sees the dancing, prancing, naked man. I'd make a good gesture with the or gesture with these moves. Oh, okay, okay, they found me. Did we get XP? Yes! Alright, we're getting XP. Nice. Slowly but surely, we'll be a good assassin. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a good assassin, target the elderly with your initial sneaking tactics. Wizards, wise men and women. Okay, back to detected. Let's get our stamina back. I'm gonna have to invest in stamina potions if I want to level up sneak more. Seems like a fair trade-off. Come on. 
There it is. All right, level 17. Then we get the first sneaking perk. My brother in Christ, you are the elderly? What about this body says elderly to you? What? Things are really quiet in here. It's kind of uncomfortable. Stay right there. Don't move. Varengar, stay right there. Let me just bounce my feet off the floor a few hundred times. He doesn't even know it, but he's helping train the greatest assassin in Skyrim's history. Ah, oh, come on, turn around to <laughs> keep walking. Oh God, he almost sees us. Can I get XP here? Maybe I can just go around. There we go, 18. Don't hate on my methods. Now he's gonna turn, go to the next one. He's just gonna move in like this animation circle. Thank you, kind sir. I don't know why, but the creepy cra crab claw hands you have in Sneak. I never even noticed what the hands look like. Yeah, they are. He's like, he's very, like he's, he can grab something. <clears throat> Come on, Farangar. Is this all he does all day? Stares at the enchanting table, then stares at the map? And then by the time he gets bored of the map, he just goes back and stares at the enchanting table? I can't say my life is too different, right? I'll look at a video that I'm editing, and then I'll look at Twitter, and then I'll close Twitter, Twitter and like look at the video I'm editing, and then I'll go back to Twitter, and then like I'll log off, and then like I'll go back to YouTube, and then, like, and then I'll be like, oh, I got a game that I want to play. And then I switch over and I play that game. And then I go back to... Okay. I just relate with Farangar a lot right now. I prefer my books. Thank you, kind sir. We gotta get to like 20. 20 to 25 sneak. We'll be a lot better. I'm only waiting just so I can get my stamina back quickly. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Sneak around. I don't know what the mechanics are, by the way, to get attacked by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. Why are we stalking Farngar? We're just grinding uh, sneak XP right now. Thank you, kind sir. Lee. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing. I think it started raining outside. The rest of the great warriors. I'm just getting sick of listening to this guy, though. Give me my level up so I can get out of here. Haley David, thank you for 11 months. Uh, Helen's Library, thank you for one month as well. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you. There we go. Sneak 20. Now get me to level 2 so I can get that first sneak perk. Thank you, kind sir. So, the deed is done. How do I know this? You will find that the Juve community knows a great many things. For you are now part of the family. Is that... Is that Oblivion Dark Brotherhood dialogue? I'm trying to remember. It sounds like Oblivion Dark Brotherhood dialogue, though, for sure. 40 months! I don't think anyone in chat is coming close to that number.
No, don't talk to me. I have no interest in being your friend, Faringar. I only see you as a vessel for my own power. We could potentially buy some spells off of Faringar, though. I could see that helping us out. Like, if we need another unique assassination. 21. Oh, shit, it's survival mode. Now I gotta go pay rent. All right, we got our level up. That's what matters. Muffle? We could do Muffle. I feel like I should do Muffle. Wouldn't the benefit of Muffle be kind of negligible, though? Because I'm going around naked. If it's work you need, sure thing. It's yours for. I'll show you to your room right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know. The security in white. One we'll kill him. Shameful. I'm killing you, Mikhail. Mikhail. I think you can lockpick a room in the inn and sleep there. Really? Stamina. Great, another stamina build. I think the first perk is a little bit more powerful with the perk bounce I have. Silent spells, sneak attacks with melee. Oh yeah, we gotta get those. Those are gonna be huge for our, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I'm so used to be doing, I'm so used to doing like some kind of business. Legal? Legal? Wait, can I take all this just because I gave them wood? I ain't done nothing. Be mature. If it's work you're looking for, don't clip that bullshit. The one to but to. free rent. Oh, Ah, hello, my. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Ah, uh, we could just go basic. I don't, I don't really want to go basic with my first kill. What's a difficult assassination method? Frenzy? We could go silent casting. Oh! That's what we should do. Because I got arrested, and now I have to kill both Nazim and Alam, we frenzy them so they fight each other, and then hopefully the frenzied companion wins the fight and the rest of the citizens will have to kill the other one standing. Why, I've got him in my He's my when the empires... What level sneak do I need? We can do that. We can, we can get silent casting at level 20. I just need to level up one more time. So let's go level up our sneak just a tiny bit more. It's a shame. I need to make a little bit of cash. Easiest way to make cash, probably real quick, just join the companions. Take some of the free shit that they have. Oh, they have a ton of gold in their basement. Yeah, I'm not even going to join. Let's just rob all the gold out of the companions basement. Uh... It's kind of stupid how much loose gold is hanging around down here. Fat sacks, too. Chunky sacks of gold. Is that a weapon? Poison? Potent stamina poison. I probably don't want to have to make my own poison. I'd like if we could skip that, but stamina poison's not going to get us a kill. 
Where are we at with cash? 275? That should be enough to get Frenzy. I would think. Maybe not, though. Grab a couple more bucks just to make sure two people in here. No one in here. Wow. Oh, shit. Never mind. Ale is in here. Don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. This is a good opportunity to get some sneak XP. Let's take advantage. Oh, I woke him up. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, they both woke up? Maybe it's just... Oh, it's 8 a.m. They're probably scripted to wake up then. <clears throat> Did I kill anyone yet? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> what? What? You, you expected me to get this done efficiently? Need that gold. Okay, that should be enough. One more. Whew. It's a close call. He almost caught us. Yeah, no, I am... I'm not I'm not very efficient. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions. But I feel like I I got to like play the game. I don't know. I, I I just whenever we do these, I just get distracted by the game. Get out of here. One of them is going to take your place. Some of them might try. Who see? Oh, sh bro. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay. All right. I wasn't even doing nothing. By you. Uh, everybody's always I don't I don't get it. Everybody in this game always has it out for me. Compared to my other runs, I've done nothing wrong. I got caught stealing one time. Big whoop. That's like nothing compared to what 90% of these NPCs have done. I've seen their lives. I know what they get up to. I've lived amongst them for a while now. What's up, Jabo? All right, let's get a little bit more sneak. I want to get that. Oh, no, no, no. We need frenzy first. It seems this damn the... Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. A scroll could work pretty well, but no. I'd like to make sure we can hit it. Frenzy. You know... We can only use Frenzy one time for one of our assassinations. What we're gonna want, how much magic? Yeah, I get a, I get one shot, we gotta hit it. I hope you're feeling better. That's not good. Get well soon, King. I know that doesn't really do anything to actually make you feel better, but I'll try my best. When are we doing a challenge? And we were just talking about the other day doing a, uh, like a Skyrim together challenge. I, I think that would be a lot, a ton of, I think that would be fucking awesome, <laughs> to be honest. Let's get our sneak up. Let's get one more level up. And then I think we can take a crack at killing Alam and Nazim in one go. Not getting caught, escaping the law. Everything works out perfectly fine. If those rebels think they can best us, they have another thing coming. Yeah, this is definitely the easiest place to level up sneak. Right in this room. You got people that are sleeping. You got one out here sitting. Two targets, I think, gives you more sneak XP. Already got a level up. Yeah, it's clearly moving faster. We just have to, you know, bounce around here. Nothing crazy. Let's just make sure we still do get... Okay, we're at about a quarter to level 23. I just want to progress check that bar, make sure we're making positive momentum. This could be a dance move. 
Not really, but it'd be a bad dance move. I finally got into a stream. Is that Ryan? Is that how I would pronounce that? I, I never know what to do with X's in usernames. So I usually just kind of leave them out. Oh, fuck yeah, we're still getting XP. Hell yeah. This is gaming. It does look like dance moves. Come on, give me to 25. Right? I think I think it could fit. It could be some kind of dance. New square dance unlocked. I love this. I cannot wait to just fast montage skip past this when we put the video together. Isaac, if you're going through this footage right now, because I will be sending you this footage, uh, you're going to want to skip through this portion. Everybody say hi to Isaac in chat. I've been a bad I've been a bad creator this last month. I haven't given Isaac enough to work with. So we're going to give him a whole lot to work with here. Isaac, if you can hear me, turn this into a cool dance montage as I level up my sneak. Uh, this is your homework assignment. Do it as I would. Sneak dance montage. Yeah, there, no, that's what I was thinking. Twenty-five. God, I love this. It's so efficient. God, I love efficient leveling. POV, you're the greatest assassin the world's ever seen. In training. I feel like with every Elder Scrolls game, the first... If you've played an Elder Scrolls game before, right? And you're doing, like, a replay of it. You're going back to one you kind of know everything about the game. The first 10 hours of that new run in any Tez game is like an anime training arc. You are efficient. You know the skills you are going to level up and how to level them up. No matter how stupid it is, you're going to go through that training. You're going to be powerful. Like, I started... Um, or I guess not even not even just Tez. I started a uh, on my Series X or Series S. I downloaded uh, Starfield on my Series S just because I wanted to play it casually in my own time on like a console in a different setting than sitting at my PC. And since I've already put a bunch of time into the game, I was like rolling through, getting super super powerful super quickly. Got like a badass ship right away and everything. It was like the fastest anime trading arc to just obliterating everything. We did level up. All right. Excuse me, excuse me. I don't think I have to pay rent again. I'm not paying rent. Yeah. That's right, Holda. I get two sleeps for the price of one. Gotta go stamina again. I just feel like stamina is important. So do we go with sneak weapon damage? Probably silent casting. The most immediate need we have is for silent casting. Okay, the way I want to kill him. All right, there's Nazim. We could theoretically get away with killing our first required target by just having everybody gang up on him, fulfill their wildest dreams by kicking the shit out of him in the <laughs> in the town square. I almost said Times Square. Yeah, this special spell will teleport you right into New York City. I need to double check. Who sees me? How the hell does anybody see me? I guess, yeah, I am. I am like glowing. 
I'm so bright. This is what I look like when I go out into the sun. We need to find the perfect angle to get Nazim. We can worry about Alam after this. We can probably just kill Alam in her sleep. No, they still see me. And I can't see the... Ah, uh, there's the target. Okay, he's at the meat stall. Hello, I don't have anything to add. I just want to feel special. Rock Slug, you are special. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. How the... How am I spot... Okay, there we go. Oh, now, how am I spotted? Is it the chickens? I think the chickens. <laughs> I think they can see me. Oh, it's definitely the chickens. Bunch of narcs. Can I kill the chickens and get away? What if I frenzy a chicken? <laughs> can I can I get away with frenzying a chicken? I don't think they have any attacks. But I'm still hidden back here. Let's let him out. So, 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 quick, check it on the loose. Everybody run. Okay, we cause chaos in the Times Square. Everybody is afraid of the chicken. Where the hell did the... Oh! Who? Wait, wh <laughs> which one of you did this? You monsters. How could you? <laughs> oh my god, murdered him in cold blood. Well, at least we know that the frenzy spell is very effective. Oh, oh, this is it. This is it. This is my shot. No, who sees me? God dang it. That was the perfect. Now we're back to hidden. Now we're detected. We got him. Hold on, hold on. They, they almost detect me, though. We need to hide. I, I really want to watch the entire fight go down, but no. I'm staying here. I'm staying put. I can't believe we got the right shot off in time. I didn't get a bounty. I can definitely see blood splatter and murder stains everywhere. That was easy. That what a clutch shot. Kind of underwhelming. But who cares? One target down. I know. That's why I got some clothes. I'm the commander of the guard. Uh, now I just look like one of the basic old dudes in Skyrim. This is like the prototypical old guy look in Skyrim. Although this character does look cool. I like the beard. I like the hair. It works. This all fits. Okay, Nazim, for your crime of being a dick, Chad has sentenced you to death. You're off the board. Now we gotta go kill his wife. We kill Alam. We're back on track. We just have to make sure. Oh, is that her? That is his wife. She's in a very compromised position. Just have to make sure we don't get caught. After we can't. So we're allowed to kill Alam by any means because she's not on the official list. But after Alam dies, we cannot use Frenzy anymore. So the next assassination target has to be, you know, not killed with this method. We gotta find a good angle. Maybe nighttime? Hello, child of <clears throat> Maybe I'll wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay, like a real assassin, we're gonna stake out the drunken huntsman. Oh, this is, this is gonna work. Oh, maybe not. Because if you think about it, the drunken huntsman did not mean to get drunk, but okay. 
the owner of the store is going to follow me, right? Like, if I go up here, my plan was post up right here, wait for Alam to come in through the door. Oh, okay, we have to find the perfect angle to where the shot can get through. As soon as she gets into the drunken huntsman, we blam, we hit her with this, and then she gets taken out by the guy behind the, uh, what's it called? The guy behind the, the, the counter. Just like that. Boom. Hit her right on their little piggy toes. She goes nuts. <gasps> Who's that? Was that guy there the whole time? This is more gripping than the Netflix original, The Killer. Is that an actual movie? Was it good? Should I watch it? What about the other door? What door? Last world reference. Up your game, chat. Okay, it's one. I don't know what time she goes to sleep. Let's just try 9 p.m. I'll be happy to assist you if you'd like to purchase something. No, thanks. Kind of waiting for somebody here. Is that her? No, that's not her. Bro, I'm hidden. Come on. Killing the whole vibe. Alam's not. Think about it. Okay, Alam's not here. That means Alam's probably on her way here at the very least. It's dark outside. Easier for sneaking. I, work for at the general I gotta get on the roof. All I'm gonna be coming back to this place Thank at you, some point. Sir. Come Almost on. two years. Thane of Windhelm, thank you so much for spending all that time with us. I appreciate it. You have been around basically since the beginning. I always love the in-universe Twitch names. Ah, I can't get up. Can I get on that wall? Is that Alam? That's Alam. We gotta make a play here. This is the perfect opportunity. Ah! I missed! Come on, magic! No! No, 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 no! She's, ah, oh, she's right there! This is the perfect time. Don't turn, don't turn. Stop, stop walking. Cease! I demand you stop! Gotta go around. Oh, no, how did I, oh. oh, I chunked it. I feel like a striker who just missed a penalty kick. For my European audience or anybody on the Eastern Hemisphere, I've started making English football jokes for you all. I hope that one landed. How the fuck did I miss that? Where is she? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing up there. Oh, she's already teleported to bed. Can I wake her up without getting caught? Can I frenzy her from within the room without getting caught? I don't think so. Like, if I'm right here, I had it. I had the perfect opportunity, and now I'm settling for something so much worse. We sell bows, arrows, and ale. A unique combination to be sure. Screw it. This is for science. Oh, <laughs> I fucking hate this game. If you have need of hunting supplies, I hate this game. Right I hate this game. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay, okay. It, it missed, but I didn't want it to hit. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling confident in that throw. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't feeling good about that one. Okay, missed that one on purpose. Damn it, I'm, I'm getting sweaty now. The sweater's too warm. What am I wearing underneath? Am I wearing a cool shirt? Oh, it's generic. Whew. 
she's gonna get up out of bed and face that direction, but she's immediately gonna walk towards my direction. She's frenzied. I'm still hidden. Is someone there? No one's there. No one is there. <laughs> hmm. Nothing here after all. <laughs> Guards. I think it's it's storming outside. Oh, she's on that side of the bed. It didn't work. We sell bows, arrows, and ale. Hello, friend. Dang, and I can't rent the bed here. I was gonna try and sleep with Alam. <laughs> Shit. Thank you, kind. All that hard work for it to not work. All right, what we're gonna have to do. Yeah, they say don't go to bed angry. She went to bed frenzied. Her dreams are gonna be insane. Do you imagine going to bed with a frenzy spell attached? Be laying in bed, swinging. <laughs> Although punching in dreams usually feels like, like you can never really. Unbelievable! I have to pay rent again. Oh, did you need something? A fine day to you. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try that first one again. We're gonna sleep until the next night. Let's go. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. Okay, we got our sleep. Eat some food. I don't need all that much food. Oh shit, hold on. If I'm hungry, I think my sneak is less effective. Let me make sure. Peckish? Yep, less effective with sneaking. Let me at least get my food. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm a fine date. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Boiled cream treat? That sounds gross. Not gonna lie, does not sound very good. Although I'm not a Danish fan. I guess I like a coffee cake, but I always feel like the filling is a little bit too much. I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you feel about... How do you feel about pastries? I don't like cream in my pastries, okay? I like it plain. Alright? I like a glazed croissant. I like, uh, you know, I like cake donuts. Keep it simple. I gotta at least check the drunken huntsman just to make sure she hasn't gone there. Please don't be in here. Oh, she's not. Okay. Alam is not in the building. That means Alam has to be on the way here. Nighttime. That's not her, that's Adrian. This is gonna be the best spot. We wanna hit her with the frenzy right here. I wanna locate her beforehand though. What time is it? I bet at 9 p.m. she's gonna start tracking her way over here. I think she spends most of her time at the church. There she is. We got our target spotted. Just left the church. What I say? Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I'm in the middle of it, Amrin. Is she gonna come down this staircase? It looked like she was walking this way. Dang, 
here. I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose her. Is that her? No, that's not her. Damn it. There she is. That's her. Can I get up? Can I get up? 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 Got up here. Ah, oh, damn! It won't let me up all the way. Light right there. Let's avoid it. This feels like way too out in the open. There she is. Oh god, she's in the middle of three people. Hopefully, I don't miss. I'm so gonna get caught. We got her. We got her. Stay right there. Victory. Now. Thank you very much, Alam. Whew, okay, it was convoluted. It took way too long, but we did it. We took out Alam. Simple, easy, okay? I am good at this game. Oh no, Twitch threw up an ad? Why? Come on. Clancy, you're doing a great job as the new CEO, but come on, it's always the worst timing with these ads. Killed during an ad doesn't count. Of course it did. How could they? That's all right. It wasn't too exciting. It was kind of underwhelming. But we at least got him taken out. So we can do a big ol' red line. I love red lines. Why is it behind? Now, why does it look like that? I want... I want... Okay. I have to turn the whole thing into a pixel layer. Now, what I gotta do is go up here. Thank you, and, um, sir. Add pixel layer. There we go. Then I need that to look good. Target one, Nazim. Location, white run. Reason? Because he's an ass. Target down. Feindal. Okay, so now we have to kill Feindal Riverwood. Why do we have to kill him? Apparently he had sex with my wife. Or at least that was the reason the chatter gave us. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. So I don't know when the Dark Brother... Ooh, we also need to figure out what we're going to kill him with. It shouldn't be too hard to kill him and get away from the guards because there's no guards in Riverwood right now. I swear there's something so we could go with the sneak attack with a battle axe. Does a, ba a battle axe sneak attack sounds kind of cool. Maybe. Pickpocket poison into his pocket. Where can I steal some good poisons from? Kill him at the woodmill and make it look like a working accident. What well, what I want to try to do with one of the kills, I want to try and kill somebody um, via, like, a pile of bones or a rock. I would like to use, I would like to rocky somebody to death. I'm not really sure how possible that would be, though. Get into Arcadia's. Hello, June. Tile, thank you for 13 months. What pause menu UI mod? This? Or or this? This is Sky UI. I know how this looks, but trust me. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. 
It's quite a problem back home in Syria, though. No, I'm just a Breton who doesn't see the sun much. Would I be a Breton? I is that my Elder Scrolls race comp? None of these are going to be strong enough. I guess we could buy one. I have several elixirs for sale. She's closed. Some strength, weak poison. Yeah, none of these are going to get the job done. They're not going to deliver me death. You give off what alpha vibes? Nah. I'm definitely taller than a wood elf. But I'm not like towering, you know? Six foot on a good day, five eleven three quarters. Medically. According to the liars at the doctor's office, I'm only five eleven three quarters. You're from the Midwest, so you'd be a Nord. Yeah, I guess it would probably be Nord. But I'm kind of small for a Nord. <sighs> Even though it's kind of a boring option, maybe Imperial. Imperial seems kind of just stock standard, though. It's very out of the box. Like, like the Imperial is just, that's just John Elder Scrolls. See if she, uh, let's see if she has any better poisons for sale. You look rather pale. Take a look. Thank you, Arcadia. Target is paralyzed for three seconds. Wait, I have an idea of how we could kill Feindel. I have a much better idea than this. Come back anytime if you need a rest. I have an idea. We gotta get to Riverwood first. Does anybody know the... What are the criteria for the Dark Brotherhood to start trying to kill you? What Floridians be Argonians? Maybe I, they're close to the water. I would say Argonians though are more doesn't Louisiana have a bunch of swamps? Anything that has a bunch of swamps. That would have to be Argonian. Level five. Okay, so level five is when they start attacking. What? Why is that mod still installed? Why is the IRS still coming after me? Okay, I just use console commands. I set my level to five. I need that. I need that stress that the Dark Brotherhood could show up at any time and ruin this run. Put the IRS on the <laughs> list now. We need to take out Skyrim's IRS. Who would that be? The. I guess that would just be the Empire, right? They, they gotta have some sort of division. So, my plan for assassinating Fandal. We go to Riverwood. We help him out with Camilla. We get him to follow us. And then, whoopsie, amidst our adventures, Fandal might take a little slip. Have a nice trip. Maybe fall a little bit. And I'm going to need paralysis to do it. I'm going to take Feindel to the top of the throat of the world. I'm going to paralyze him at an awkward angle such that he falls and topples like a wooden breadstick off the edge of the mountain. And all the way down to the bottom. He's going to Lincoln log his way all the way down the mountain. 
And that should kill him. Wooden breadstick, Lincoln log, same shit. Lead Fane Dal to Rocky and Ember Shard. That's also a pretty good idea. But I'm kind of committed now to bringing him all the way to the top of the map and dropping him off the mountain. <laughs> Combat. Is there a way to... Betray both Sven and Feindal, but still take Feindal as a follower. So I would say, I don't know if any of our other targets... I don't know if any of our other targets can become followers, but if they can, I don't think that we should be allowed to do that after this murder method. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. He thinks his an intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Oh, Fanda, I hate you. You're such an r slash nice guy. Camilla Valerius won't be with a nice gamer like me. Hmm. All of her attention goes to that braggart Sven, who's talented, handsome, charismatic, more fun to be around than me. But that doesn't matter. I have her best interests in mind. She should be having sex with me. <laughs> He's totally an r slash nice guy. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Hmm, methinks, m'lady. <laughs> Shit, this is why we're killing you, Fainal. This, this is why. Why is our reasoning for... Hold on, this makes no sense. Thematically, this makes zero sense at all. Why is Fainal's reason for dying that he had sex with my wife? All right, well, you listen to him. Listen to the sad sap. He hasn't even... He's he's got to like lie his way to Camilla's heart. I mean and I'm going to help him do it. One of us has to do something. I said no. <clears throat> no adventures, no I don't have a fedora. Should I get a fedora for the stream, milady? Oh god, I want to get a fedora now. <laughs> we are done talking about this. Oh. Uh, a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Oh, no worries, Lucan. Milady. sir. Oh man, the way she ignores me, she's just so perfect. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Okay, but let's... She doesn't wear that much makeup in the vanilla game, does she? I did not put makeup on her. This is way, like, this is out of pocket. This is so much. I don't know who did that. <laughs> that was not me. Yeah, that is way overdone. That is so over. I don't know. I, I, this has got to be one of the face mods I have. I, I got to get rid of that face mod. This looks awful. This is tragic, Camilla. I'm sorry. Oh, no. They turned you into a canvas. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <clears throat> Camilla, or as Riverwood's makeup artist refers to her, practice. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I want to read that letter. I'm going to reload the save. I, I've never... <clears throat> I've never read the letter before. How bad is it? I said no. No adventures... My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, 
to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to my house while I wander. <laughs> Yours truly, Sven. I know I've spent a lot of time in the last few videos making fun of dude bro podcast douchebags, but I am telling you, when my YouTube shorts algorithm gets me onto like finance bro TikTok, this is straight up how they talk. <laughs> this, is, this is how some of them are. It's always got like that epic background music of like, if you want a woman in your life and she doesn't want to wash your linens or clean your blonde hair or cook you dinner, tend to the house while you wander about and entrepreneurialize the world, it's not the one for you. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how she bought that, though. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. Maybe you could talk some sense in another... What's the... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. Ooh, but yeah, whoever that that makeup is. Whew. It has a You're not from around. It has a real energy of that one uh tweet that went viral a few months ago. You're new around. Where, here. where the guy decided to I've been looking for you. Don't get on my Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands Thought he might have been Dark Brotherhood. Let's see. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Get me mad and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. Yeah, how's that for a prank? All right, where's Feindal? I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, uh, that one, that one viral tweet that was like Alloy from the Horizon games. I've never played the Horizon games, but somebody like photoshopped the main character's face and put like a bunch of makeup all over all over alloy the main character and was like hire fans <laughs> it's like, well, it just looks so bad all right fandal where are you mm -hmm, my sweet fandal my sweet sweet little death something Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold. Lead the way. All right, now we got him under our. He's under our grasp. We need to find a paralysis potion, so I may need to make my way back to White Run. It's only three seconds of paralysis, though. I feel like I could make my own paralysis poison pretty easily. Alloy? I thought it was alloy. Oh, is it alloy? Maybe I sent it. Maybe I said it wrong. Thank you, kind sir. Hello, Juve. Is this final 17 of Fallout 4 Iron Man? Thankfully, we're done with Fallout 4 Iron Man as much as I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it, but we're moving on. Uh, but thank you for seven months, Generac. Also, Kazer, thank you for three months. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, what are, what are the ingredients? Okay, thank you. Boom. Major number has me. Paralysis poison, aster bloom core, briar heart, canis root. Canis root, imstool. Canis root, imstool, swamp fungal. Those are the easiest ones. Canis root, imstool, swamp fungal. Let's just see if we can get any of that here. Paralyzed NPCs don't take fall damage. What? Then what's the point? Can NPCs drown? Oh, we should try to kill one. Can we kill him by drowning him? Can we paralyze him in the water? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem hard. Save the gravity for somewhere else. Wait, that's a good idea. That's actually a really good idea. Since Feindal is a follower, we have a unique opportunity here to burn off one of the lamer kills also we have to kill eight more people and i'm nearly two hours into recording let's kill him with rocky i think a follower is the most feasible rocky kill that we can get so we'll save the mountain paralysis for somebody else i want to paralyze somebody have them fall down a mountain and as they're following as they're falling i want a kill shot with a bow and arrow what is your time limit? My time limit is whenever the Dark Brotherhood Assassin attacks me. If the Dark Brotherhood Assassin event, if they hit me, the entire run ends. 
So it becomes a game of tag with the Dark Brotherhood. We haven't seen them pop up yet, though. I know for a fact when they drop, it's just going to catch me off guard and scare the shit out of me. At least I'm hoping it does. Hey, Ajuv, big fan. SGS, I appreciate that. Thank, thank Who are you? Excuse me. No, since when has Ember Shard Mine ever been guarded by Goth Mommy? That's close enough. Make up your mind. Do you want to fight her? Okay, she wants to fight. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want to actually, like, die here. I forgot how much harder Skyrim is right now. Don't make me a vampire. Feindall, do something. Okay, nice and easy. This is gonna be hard. It is just straight up a vampire. I wonder why. I don't need armor. Feindall's only good in like open spaces where he can clearly hit the shots. Don't like the looks of this. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Now I don't think the rocks can actually kill him. But we can try. Oh no, he's good at navigating around the rocks. There you go. Right into it. Right, right into him. What's your health? Ooh, that did a good chunk. Come on. Oh, please kill him. Please. Oh, he only goes down. No, it's got to kill him. Can I push the rock into him? Or can, can, please just let it let the rock kill him. He gets his health back so quickly. Maybe if I just hit him one time. Mush. Come on, Rocky. Sur uh, surround him in rock so that when he stands up, he takes a bunch of damage. I want to break his essential status somehow. I don't want to deliver the final blow. I need the rock to do it just to prove a point. Oh, he gets his health back so quickly. Hey, be careful. What's the matter with you? Once more, and I'm gonna have to kill you. Okay. It's clearly getting a little bit agitated with us. Watch it. Ah, oh, no. See, now all the rocks are are not in a good spot. Training. I'm on your side. Okay, he got mad at the rock that time. Maybe we can turn him hostile against the rock. We gotta get them back in position though. Like when they're bunched up. <sighs> nice little group of them right here. That was close. Be careful. Oh, it worked! Oh my god, the rock killed him! Oh, I didn't think it would! I didn't think it would work! <laughs> no way! Holy shit! Oh my gosh, yes! Give me everything, give me everything you got, Feindall. You're done! You're off the board! Get out of here! <laughs> so, you cannot stop me. I'm too good at what I do. I'm too good at what I do. 
I'm an assassin, baby. Should I have some sort of creed, maybe, to describe the type of assassin I am? Uh, wrong one. Bandel, Riverwood, get off my board. You're dead. You are dead to me. And dead to everyone else. Gone. Goodbye. Later. Two down. Technically three, because we had to kill uh, Nazim's wife. Believers for the win? What were you gambling on there? Like how long it took? Oh, sh shoot. They brought backup? Okay, time to use my new sneak abilities. Why are you attacking me? You're frenzied! Ow! Ooh. Ow. Um, well, that just happened. Uh, <laughs> um, uh. I saw a post, uh, I saw a Reddit post that was like, I, I never saw the movie Oppenheimer. Um, I heard it was really good, but I saw a Reddit post that was like, I feel like the Oppenheimer movie was too dark. Here are some changes I would have made that would have made it more enjoyable and lighthearted. And the entire post was them just having them say like cheesy Marvel dialogue at the worst times. They're like, I really think this would have improved the movie. It's not as funny when I talk about it but it was funny when I read it the rules is still oh so for this one it's exclamation point quests not exclamation point rules sorry about that all right they won't be out here still that's how a true Nord fights fuck <laughs> Oh, what is that? Come on! Was she mid swing? Damn, Okay, hold on. I'm gonna let this keep going just to see how crazy our ragdoll can get. If I feel like my ragdoll's getting crazier every death. I need to see, hold on, okay. I need to see what exactly is happening. Oh, I'm like, the second that door opens, I'm dead. I can't even. We paused it. She's not even swinging. Damn, another body to get rid of. It's okay. It's all right, I have a checkpoint. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do there, though. I guess I could go through the dungeon. Sneak out the back door. Run's not dead. Watch, I'm gonna pacifist the fuck out of this dungeon. This is going to be insane. What was that? I guess I was just Stop hearing worrying things. and get some rest. Is there someone there? They're both going to go into that hallway. That frees me up. Later. That was clean. That was honestly way, way, way too clean of like a sneak transfer. Make just enough noise so that their pathing takes them into an awkward position. Hmm. I may go back there 
someday. There's gonna be one to my right that's posted up right on the wall. Don't have any lock picks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this was the worst possible place I could have hid. I'm an idiot. You have a death wish. Oh god, did she just barely missed? No stamina. Oh, okay. I need my stamina back. Die, damn you. What's a I'm, I'm, okay, I mean, milk, milk drinker. Drinking milk is not an insult, okay? Maybe 2% milk isn't too bad. I'm not sure why the internet decided that milk should just be ridiculed all the time as a beverage. All right, we're out. We're free. We're good. Now we got to get over to Rorikstead and take out Lemkill. Is that a horse? That looks like a horse. Since when is there a horse up there? I'm taking it. That could get us to Rorik said in like two minutes. Hopefully ye old grandma over here at the cabin doesn't mind. Well shit, it is a horse. Dead. It's legal? Oh no, not the immersive horse riding. It's gonna make me sick. Streamer luck. Pretty much. They understand that we're short on time. No. Okay, as long as they attack, uh, as long as they attack my horse's ass. What is all of that stuff out there? I haven't explored much of the map with uh, JK Skyrim. I need to give myself a save in case it crashes. That's why I wanted to keep the version of Skyrim that I have right now the same as last video because I just haven't explored all that much of it. What did I say? What did I say? How good have I gotten at calling when it's going to crash? I'm impeccable. Impeccable. Getting so good at it. What a save. That reminds me of Rocket League. It is. It's like a sixth sense. You just can tell. I'm going to grab a, a water real quick, and then when I get back, we're going to run through this, finish up this quest. I lied. I lied. I'm also going to go to the bathroom real quick.
Yo, I forgot to show you guys. So I got I gotta grab something for y'all. Uh, cause I wanna show you the next uh the next video on the channel. Fall for Iron Man, right? It's uh it's gonna be sponsored by Displate. And what I didn't know was that the selection of like displates that I picked a couple of weeks ago, I didn't realize they were actually gonna send them to me. So I wanna show you a couple of them because they're actually fucking sweet. So I have this one in my office. It's just it's just the map of Morrowind. Uh and I think it's fucking awesome. So I hung this one up in my office. But I got this one. I think this one's my personal favorite. It's Vivek kind of posing and floating and overlooking more Morrowind. I just love the art style. Uh, this one's also cool as hell. It's kind of hard. The, the lights are shining off of them. Obviously, Courier, NCR Armor, New Vegas, all that. Um... I don't know how I feel about this one. This one's not my favorite, but it is just a Skyrim dragon with a cool drop back, cool artwork. And then this one is also tight as fuck. The Soul Survivor, <clears throat> Soul Survivor and Dog Meat with like the Fallout 4 downtown Boston. I love, I love how this just kind of gives off the vibe of when you're literally in downtown Boston in that game. And you're kind of surrounded by tall buildings and everything's shitty and destroyed. These are all pretty cool. And then the last. The, woo, the last one they sent me was... Um, Hold on one sec. I can hear the Skyrim theme while I'm in here. Uh, the last one that they sent me is the Skyrim map. And I just, I gave that one to my dad and I was like, put this in your office. It'll be kind of cool. But I had no clue they were actually going to send me a bunch of those. Thank you, kind Which was cool sir. of them. Six months in Skyrim. Awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. I, I've, I've played this game quite a lot. Here comes this asshole to take chair out of the spotlight. You know what? He's sons of son of a gun. Papa Juve, he's doing well. He's still getting back to it, but he's walking. He's at home. Feeling alright. Thank you, kind sir. Have you had any other sightings of the kid climbing on your roof? No, I haven't. I have heard a couple times where I've been like, is he out there climbing again? I have no clue though. God, I don't remind me. That was actually fucking terrifying. Never in my life have I experienced something like that. I, I guess I had a similar experience to like that invasion of like my safe place. That's the thing. That's what makes it feel so, hold on, time out. Okay. Why am I going this route? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a good assassin. Am I alive? No, I lived. I was alive until I started ragdolling. All right, well, let's try that again. Yeah, it's it's not until the that's how you know you're dead. Everything is a okay on in Skyrim, but once you hear and then it's it's over. It's game over. Um, but yeah, I've had in my life three instances of sort of that invasion, or just that that feeling of that invasion of you know your safe place, your your bedroom, your home. It's a weird place for a stranger to be in. 
So there was the kid on my roof. He wasn't actually in the home, but still seeing someone and nearly making eye contact with someone two feet from your face Thank while you're in bed. Sir. Uh, scary to say the least. And then of course we've talked about it. There was the contractor when I lived at the old place I used to live at who saw me shaft balls and all full frontal. That was definitely the most shocking one of it all. Pure mistake. No one was at fault. Yes, I'm taking the same route. Don't really care. I'm going to make it. I can do this. I'm an assassin. Assassins improvise. Uh, is this a TOS violation? This should be allowed, right? <gasps> I'm alive. Hold on. Grab something. I'm alive. Am I? Am I? Am I? Oh, what are you? Stupid horse. Learn how to take a fall. Take after me. So there was that one with the contract we talked about. Also, when I was in college, uh, I lived in this apartment complex while I was in college that had a middle courtyard. And the middle courtyard of this apartment complex, there was usually one room or two in every apartment in the complex that surrounded this courtyard. My room was one of them, and my room was on the first level, not like a balcony that looked into the courtyard. You, right, like you could open up the window and go out under the courtyard if you wanted to. That courtyard became a really, really popular place for just hundreds of people to squeeze into, blast music, party down, have a good time. It was actually a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Very distracting to anybody who wanted to spend their Saturdays studying, but a ton of fun. <clears throat> and because my room was like right next to where this party was, it, it was just kind of weird having like my place there and all these strangers right outside my window who I was usually also partying down with. But there were two instances. There was one instance where this stranger, I had no clue who he was, goes, hey, dude, can can these, he was like, it was like, it was like hey, dude, can these chicks I know, can they use your, can they like go in your apartment and use your bathroom? And I was like, no. I was like, no, they're not, they're not, they're not, I'm not letting strangers come through, you know, my room. And he was like, dude, but they're really hot. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if it's Margot Robbie. I'm not, well, Margot, okay, maybe I'd let Margot Robbie you know, walk through my room just to say that Margot Robbie walked through my room. But I was like, you're not coming through my room. And I, I don't know, I don't know who you are. And it like, the guy was mad at me. He was like, you do like, you don't gotta be an asshole. And I was like, I'm not being an asshole. I'm just saying, no, you're not coming through my house. And then there was one time where there was a party at that courtyard. I wasn't there for it or I like left early. And when I came back, my entire window was like out laying on my bed and there was a giant footprint in the middle of it. Like what the, who, who does this? Who acts like this? Idiots. Anyway, those are all the times that I've randomly had an invasion of privacy. Even though, like, I didn't see what was there, I was like, who kicks in a window? They didn't steal anything. The most valuable thing in my room at the time would have been, like, my Xbox One. They got payback for you not letting... I, that's what I think. Or that's what I thought. I was like, was it that guy? Did he get mad? Uh, Darkwing, thank you for six months. Davies, thank you for two months. Tiantra, thank you for eight months. You guys are getting up there. You're getting old. What college did you go to? I went to, yeah, University of American Samoa Law School. I need to lighten up with my toilet. No, it was not broken. It was a pretty sturdy window, but it popped out easily. 
Okay, now, college reminiscing over. Here we are at Rorikstead. So we're supposed to kill Lemkill, right? We can't use rocks to kill him. We can't use Frenzy to kill him. Ew, 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 ew. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. No, 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 no. I do not like static objects in my Elder Scrolls. Yuck. Get it away from me. Yeah. No. Bad. Bad. No, no. Mm -mm -mm. Where is Lemkill? Right, Lemkill. That, that, that's who we're going after, right? Use a dragon. Oh, okay, there's Lemkill's house. Thank you, kind sir. Well, the good thing is this place has an inn, so we can at least sleep here and plot out our murder. Thank you, kind sir. You can befriend him. Oh, okay, okay, you can befriend him, sell him, oh, pick his crops, sell it back, then he'll be our friend. Welcome. That probably makes sneaking around marginally easier, probably not at all. If you need him, sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. I might say Thank you, kind sir. Two beds? He hates root beer, but I forgive him. When did I say I hate root beer? I am fully entrenched in the uh, Bargs versus Mug root beer competition. I don't know which one right. I would pick of the two, but I do find the memes entertaining. Okay, Juwan, Rorik, Regner, Eric, Lemkill's probably out in the field. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. See, this is why we have to kill you. I feel like I've killed Lemkill multiple times. Somebody had a good suggestion of how we could kill him. I need to... I need to scroll up through chat. Epic Joe, thank you for the prime. Tall glass of diarrhea. <laughs> thank you for the prime. This is such a stupid name. That's funny as hell. Run him by selling crops. No, which one did I see? I saw something up here. No, this is people talking about my toilet. Ah, that is a wonderful, absolutely brilliant idea. We're going to lure a giant to Rorikstead. Beautiful. It's, it's. That is art. That is like Picasso or Da Vinci. It's perfect. Perfect. Perfect strokes. Your use of watercolor when painting that idea into chat. It's fantastic. That speckling that you did on the outside of that idea, you don't see that everywhere. You don't get that kind of idea generation just out of nowhere. Do I really have to kill a ghost? I think being a ghost in Elder Scrolls would suck the most. I just, I think it would. Like, you're dead. So now you're a ghost. And as a ghost, you get killed again? It's fucking embarrassing. That truly sucks. Your afterlife is just standing around waiting to get killed. Again. Chuck Shanker, thank you for three months. I don't hate root beer. I haven't had it in so long. I honestly think the last time I had root beer was when my brother suggested having you, Colin, root beer sir. fireball. Root beer. -e 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 I've never seen the text to speech change pitch like that. E -e 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 Where are all the giants? Oh God! No! 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 Not now! Not now! It's way too early. It's so full, oh, it's so way too early to do this. Can I get the assassin back to town? 
I, I really wasn't ready for this to start up. Holy shit. Okay, okay, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. We are being chased by an assassin. I need to move quicker. I really don't know what's going to speed me up, but I don't think this battle axe is going to help. No, no, I was having such a good time. We were reminiscing, telling college stories. I was talking about the time a stranger saw me butt naked. Don't do this now. Don't attack me while I'm in a compromised state. Maybe the citizen... Can we get the assassin to kill Lemkill? I can't be touched. Now the challenge has really begun. I can't kill the... Oh, he's caught on a rock. No, we're going to bring him into Rorik's dead and see what happens. Thank God he doesn't have any arrows. Thank you, Karn, sir. Okay. He's tracking. He's following. Nice and easy. Come on. I've only killed two of my targets. Chip in. Chip in. Not, not now, Chip Mr. In. Alert Guy. A fight. No, not a fight. You guys are you guys are in on this too, right? Oh, no one's gonna help. This should be good. He's just standing outside at the gate. I wonder if. Thank you. Okay, I think his nav mesh might have been goofed up there. Uh, okay, this is bad. What I could probably do. There's nothing wrong with a little adventure now and then. No way, they all just run away. Nobody tries to help me. I'm stuck. Oh! God, that was close. Go through, uh, damn. Okay, we need to get his pathing as awkward as possible. So let's run through. Yeah, get him on this wall. Hopefully he gets stuck. Doesn't know how to jump like an idiot. Worth every scepter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting away. We're getting away. All right, close call. Is he gonna spawn back in? The The problem is if he's following us and we get caught up fighting wolves or something, that could really just end the run. So I'm gonna get a giant, <clears throat> lead the giant all the way back to Rorik's dead, and hopefully then we can get the giant to kill both the assassin and Lemkill. Unless Lemkill runs away. I can't use Frenzy on Lemkill, but I can use Courage. So, time out. Time out. Do we go to Whiterun, buy the Courage spell, and then go back to Rorik's Dead? Change the damn notification to anything but chip in. I know. I I, I keep saying I need to change it. I don't. I, I I haven't really liked it since the first time. I did make the uh, pop-ups a little bit shorter because I was rewatching one of the vods and I thought that they stayed up for far too long. I was like, damn, that's like it's still going. I have no clue if the assassin comes back. Does anybody know what the assassin does? I think I'm just going to grab the giant here and bring it back. Oh, the horse is dead. Yeah, the horse wasn't as effective at mountain climbing as I would have hoped. Not enough training in his knees. Or her knees. Either way, that's weakness. I don't need it. Ah. 
Thank you, kind sir. I gotta be careful here, because the giants are sneaky. Oh, he's stomping. Mr. Giant, you got a nice little lane right here. Come on through. Okay. Snuffleupagus, clearly in front. Can't let them get too close, but can't let them be too far. This is going to take forever. Sorry, Chad, I have to be kind of locked in here. Okay, too close for comfort. Ooh, way too close for comfort. Oh, shit, he went over there to murder people. Are you done? Come on. I have a more high value target that you need to launch into space. I wonder if we can see them falling. Oh, there they are. Oh my God, they went so far. Oh, if he could kill Plautus, that would be nice. I really don't like this guy. No, the giant's focus just on me. I can't use Frenzy on Lem Kill. If I use Frenzy on Lem Kill, there's a risk that somebody besides the giant kills him, which would nullify his death. Of course, there's wolves. I gotta kill him quick. Am I even close? How far away are we? Rorik's dead, just up this road. We're almost there. That wolf did decent damage. I need to be careful. Got to keep our eyes peeled for that assassin as well. I saw black robes and thought it was. I'm staying out of this. What's the confusion? You okay, bud? Okay, he missed. Yeah, yeah, good idea. You might want to start running in that direction. Or stand still. Makes no difference to me. You're a worthy expenditure if you die during this mission. He seems to be having some issues with maybe changes to the road. Or maybe he just got tired. around the bend oh he's not getting through that front gate I don't think he can fit through the front gate hey everyone there's a giant here the guards won't even attack him how does that make any sense? Oh shit, what about the assassin?
All right, let's let, let's make Lemkel like us first. We have the method of how we're gonna kill him in town already. I'm gonna save my game. Just because we're like in the situation. Don't walk. No, 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 no. I can't have him. I can't have him lose aggro on me. So I probably have to be quick. Let's talk to Lemkel as fast as we can. Careful. Do your. I got enough trouble, so don't go adding to them. Okay, well, what the what the hell am I supposed to harvest for you? That good? I spend every cabbage. Honest pay for honest work. Potatoes. Honest pay for honest work. Four gold. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Can I push him? What the? Okay, hold on, hold on. We got something here. The giant still aggroed. Curse my good for nothing daughters. My. Yes. Just as confused as I am. Oh shit! The giant left. No 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 no! Come back! Come back! Come on, Gregory. I feel like that would be a nice name for a giant. Maybe there's another... I got an idea. <clears throat> Snuffleupagus, you made it? Okay, maybe we can use the mammoth. What if we attack from an alternate angle we take snuffleupagus through the apple trees and we do a tactical vertical strike no but i need the giant the giant has splash damage oh the giant made it around come on greg he can't get through that fence perhaps he can drop in from these rocks right here we need the giant to do his down smash attack, trying to hit us. We need him to miss us. We need him to hit Lemkill. Now let's see what he does in relation to these. This is an awkward spot for him. Shut up, Eric. This is why your dad doesn't like you. No, Lemkill's going to run away. He got through! Wrong target! Wait, that's not the target! But you're... Uh, amazing work, Greg! Come on, finish the job, why don't ya? Lemkill's just down the road. Where is he? Where'd Lemkill go? I just saw him. He better not have... Shit, did he run to the inn? There he is! Oh! You got this. Come on, Greg. Finish the job. Not on me! Did you get him? Yeah! Atta boy, Greg! Oh, you. Oh, I wish I saw it. I couldn't see it. I had to make sure you didn't kill me. But Greg, I'm so proud of you. Our friendship has come so far. I think. I think I love you, Greg. Incredible work. See, look. I put my weapons away. You put yours away. We back away slowly. You. You big, beautiful bastard. I love you. Now let's get into the inn. Take a little nap. Not the inn. Boom. That's how you do it. That's how you assassinate the target effectively, cleanly. No witnesses, didn't get caught, no jail time, no bounty.
Lemkill, Rorik's dead, hates children. It's so hard to draw in a straight line. Okay, three down. Only two and a half hours in. Now we gotta kill Angie and Falkreath. Why? Apparently she's annoying. Angie and Falkreath. I don't know who that is. Yay. 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 Sir Bailey, thank you for the tier one. Uh, why? Why might she, she be hard to get to? She's up in the mountains, not in the town itself. She's an archer in the mountains outside Falkreath. Okay, all right, so she's a hermit. I think that plays into our hand. How come no one in this town wants to fight these giant beasts? It's not hard to make friends with them. Everyone in town's just so scared. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm bed. If you need a meal, are you joking? You just rent. Let's sate that appetite, huh? What do we have for food? We're good. We have plenty of money. Good day. Anissa's cabin has paralysis potions, then you can push her off. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, so we hit Anissa's cabin, get the paralysis potions. Falkreath isn't too far from Anissa's cabin. Find Angie's place, wherever she's at. Paralysis. But you can't take fall damage while paralyzed. That's a goofy one. Is there a mod that changes that? My father Thank you, kind sir. Manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. Hey, uh, I'm done. I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> never, never again. I need to have Todd W. As a, is that a 7TV emote? I need to have that. I mean, incredible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. The hell was that? Why are you still here? I think the giant's still here as well. You know, with the way that this town is set up, it's almost impossible for the mammoth to leave. I feel like this mammoth is just gonna chill here for the whole playthrough. We'll come back. Snuffleupagus, I promise I will be back. Just to check in, see how your progress is doing. Although I wanna say that the way the scheduling works and the way NPCs move about and they try to go back and return to their home, I think they can uncouple themselves and just fast travel. Okay, something's going on with my game. It is totally about to crash. I'm saving. I'm just, I'm gonna beat the crash. The crash won't beat me. I will beat it. I don't feel like this run should end if Juve gets hit, but she... No, we gotta have some... There has to be some edge. Yeah, there's gotta be... <clears throat> the, the chance of true failure, I think, makes the journey more compelling. I think it makes the sandbox significantly more fun. Which is why Elder Scrolls should bring back a failable main story. I know they won't, but I think they should. Ugh, this is a slog, honestly. We gotta go up over the mountain or around. I think there's a passing in the mountain right around. 
Oh. Ugh. Yeah, this is a long run. I'll try to get there as fast as I can, though. They won't bring back a story. <laughs> Old work. All right, chat. What are we talking about now? Anybody? Let's let's fire it off. Twenty questions. Ask me anything. Why is there an emote that is you but Among Us? That's Caius Cassades, I think. Is Brian Ferentz a good football coach? He's a great offensive line coach. Source, uh, one of my good friends who I haven't chatted with in a while, used to work the offensive line with him. And they were fantastic. Most unpopular food opinion? Ketchup fucking sucks. Ketchup is a travesty. It's a condiment for nine-year-olds. It's red corn syrup. It's barbecue sauce with zero edge. Absolutely useless condiment. Anytime I see anybody... Dude, you have ketchup? Oh, it drives me up a fucking wall. Fuck ketchup. It's probably my most unpopular food opinion. Like, I would dunk my fries in plain mayo a hundred times over before you could even get me to try ketchup. I won't even entertain the idea. Although, I've, I like, the fuck ketchup mentality has been ingrained in my head ever since I was, like, I was probably, like, 10 or 11, and I just uh, decided, yeah, this is ass. And then, oh, those times where you'd see somebody try and, like, squirt the ketchup bottle, but just that ketchup water comes out on top, disgusting. Just irredeemable. <laughs> it's gross. Well, and mayo is like, I mean, you take mayo, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of basil, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic. Boom. You got a little pesto mayo. It gets the job done. You take mayo, you throw some shit in it. Boom. You can now dunk your fries in something that's not horrid. Um, that's like my own, that's like a take. Personally, I can acknowledge the love of different fruit flavored things that people have. But personally, I have never, ever, ever been able to enjoy berries. Strawberry, blueberry, cranberry, raspberry, any type of berry. I just have never been able to enjoy. So a lot of desserts are off the table for me. That's just something I'm like more disappointed in. Ketchup, I am adamant that ketchup sucks. Sweet. Yeah, throw me a kill cam, but do nothing. Um, that's just like personal taste. You might be thinking like, uh, hey, isn't your hatred of ketchup also just personal taste? No, I think it's subjective. I, th I think... I think that's objective, that ketchup is a completely inferior condiment. Your life will improve if you give up ketchup. What's your favorite apple type? I haven't had apples in a while. But I, uh, just barely dodged it. Um, I think I'm, a, or I, I know for a fact, I'm allergic to birch pollen, which depending on the harvest for apples can be more or less common. There was one time when I was maybe, I think it was about 23, so it was a few years ago, but I caught up an apple. Because I've always enjoyed fresh apples, not really cooked apples. Cooked apples, they get a little bit slimy. I'm just not a fan of that. Um, that's okay. I understand people people really like apple pie and all that shit 
But I was eating this apple and my lips start to feel chapped. It almost feels like there's a thin layer of oil around my mouth and it starts itching. And then like back where my uvula is, so at the very back of my throat, there's like a constant scratch. It's like in a circle around the whole back of my throat. Like, <laughs> like I really want to scratch it. <laughs> I want to... <laughs> Ugh, there's something in there. I, it was the worst reaction I'd ever had to an apple. Similar to the reaction that I would get eating almonds, but it's way, way bigger reaction. Never had had it before, and I haven't really had too many apples since then, which is disappointing, because it's one of the few fruits that I have enjoyed, you know, having as a snack. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. No, you're not. I assume the poisons y'all were talking about are in her basement? I don't have any lockpicks? That's... That's incredibly not good. I gotta run to Whiterun then to get a lockpick. Oh, she has a key? Why didn't you just say she has a key? Where's my battle axe? Oh, that's right, I dropped it. It's oh. should have come here. She doesn't have a key, you liars! <laughs> it just made me murder this poor old lady for no reason. Where's her key? See, now I'm the bad guy. I'm just trying to be a good assassin. But no. Gotta turn me into an asshole. That was pretty brutal. Why is the attack speed so fast? It slows down in third person. But that's incredibly quick. There's no key. Attack speed is bugged with comprehensive first person animation overhaul. Really? All right, we'll go to Riverwood, get a lockpick, go to Anissa's, go to Falkreath, find. That one lady. I'm supposed to be making my way to Falkreath, but I'm getting distracted. Pillow Project, thank you for the prime. And uh, Sir Bailey, thank you for two months. Yeah, it looks like a feature to me. I keep hearing these wolves, but never seeing them. Is it just me? Can you guys hear that too, or am I going crazy? Is this a one-off stream, or is this going to be a series? This will be a series. Especially if they all take as long as this one is. I thought this would be a lot quicker. But then the thing is, I get stuck in the sandbox of the game, and I'm just kind of enjoying it, and, like, having fun with stupid shit. I don't know what you but I think that that's when our best and most fun adventures kind of happen. When, like, we have a goal, we got a thing, you don't have any fucking luck. No, wait, sorry. He does have lockpicks. I bet. Sorry, Lucan. I better get back to clean. Thank you. Sorry. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem odd. What quest is this? We have to go kill. Oh gosh, I've already forgotten her name. Annika? Annie? Who are we killing? Angie. I knew it was something like that. You inspired me to replay Skyrim. Currently lost in the sandbox of it and having. Oh! Uh. Get him! It's usually how it goes, Vile Earth. For the most part.
This thing stinks. It's gonna get me killed, but it is a really good primary weapon for a psychopath to have, so I like it. Take the thief stone, get some sneak. Um, so y'all are saying she's southwest of Falkreath. Oh man, oh man. Did you get the paralyzed poison? need you all to stop to stop you know stop making me feel bad stop reminding me that my short-term memory is bad new chat rule thank you kind sir. no making me look bad it was nearly time for the baby nearly time for the baby you better have some good names don't come at me with some basic shit like james john i want something wild and out there like uh Snorkel face. Uh, chair pile. You know, something creative. <laughs> Stupid fucking lockpicks. Hey, they always think they have like a one up on me. They're like, oh, oh, I'm locked. What are you going to do about it? Weak frenzy poison? We already used frenzy. Ah, ah, <laughs> there it is. The potent paralysis poison. Yes. Seven seconds. That still feels kind of underwhelming. We'll see what happens. What about bottom 100 baby names? Is there a list where you can find like the least popular? I, I want to say there was, it might've been weekend update on SNL where it was a really, it was a really good joke. And it was kind of a joke of the times, but it was like, you know, the, the, the most recent, you know, popular baby name list came out and Daniel is number one this year. The least popular baby name is Al Qaeda number two or something like that. Like that was the joke uh, of the whole bit that they were doing. But it was a very, it was a very good joke at the time. Oh shit, hold on, I'm gonna die. It's like the third joke I've retold on this stream today that like as I've retold it I'm like yeah it's 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 not funny when I say it <laughs> it's not funny when I say it it wasn't Norm McDonald no I, I don't it, it does sound like a Norm McDonald joke though uh, I think it was when Seth Meyers was still doing a uh, weekend update it was a while ago yeah you had to be there that does sound like Norm rip uh, I do suggest Actually, because I always see whenever like SNL gets brought up in any conversation, I feel like there's always it's kind of like when Fallout gets brought up in conversation, which Fallout you find the best or worst is kind of an inevitable side conversation that's going to happen as a result of discussing Fallout, where discussing SNL always leads into the adjacent conversation of, yeah, it's, it kind of sucks now. I highly suggest for honestly, if you're just interested in comedy or writing or improv in general, I highly, highly, highly suggest watching. It's on YouTube for free. The documentary Saturday night. It's really fucking cool. And it's at a time where people like Bobby Moynihan and Bill Hader were very new 
So they're very young. You know, I mean, they're my age or sometimes even younger. And it's a really, really cool behind the scenes of uh, like, uh, I was trying to think of another person that's on it. Will Arnett, was, is that? No, 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 Will Arnett. I'm thinking of somebody else. He was not in this, but it's essentially the whole show, the whole documentary takes you from the end of one week all the way up until the live show that they do. And what's so cool about it, you know, good or bad skits, funny or not funny, what's so compelling about the whole ordeal is that they really do write, plan, and put together the entire show in one week. And that's where I think a lot of the charm comes from, that a lot of people forget. They just sort of look at, hold on, this is a bone dog. I'm talking about stuff I'm passionate about, damn it! Uh, it it's, it's just a cool documentary. And what the fuck is that noise? I hate the bone dogs, they're tough. Be kind of cool if this was the house I was looking for. Um, but definitely suggest watching it. I I, I can't. Uh, Will Forte. Will Forte is super young in this. If you know Will Forte, he's been in a lot of different movies. MacGruber is probably the role he's best known for playing. More of a niche role nowadays. But he's very young in this. I'm dead. Shit. Now I need more cover. Ah! Shit, that was close. Tree? Not good enough cover. Uh, Will Forte in this documentary is super young. And it, it is kind of strange to see somebody who has been in so much and has been so successful in their career to write a skit, uh, to write a skit pull multiple all-nighters all week trying to get this skit ready for the Saturday show. And then right before the Saturday show, they cut the skit. And he's like devastated. So yeah, it's it's pretty fucking cool. Anyway, I, I just I suggest it. I think it's just called Saturday Night. Give it a watch if any of that interests you at all. Because I still think regardless of whether or not people enjoy a specific skit or an episode of SNL, what they do to put that show together is very impressive and is so fucking challenging. What are you doing that for? It's Skyrim. That's literally what you do. If you don't jump up and hit the signs, you're playing the game wrong, right? Warm drinks and warm beds. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. Okay, what time is it? 3 p.m. Now let's go get this kill. She should be dead for that. No, we're not going to kill her just because she made a little side comment. All right, so y'all are saying southwest is where she's at. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit tough to get up there. Am I heading in the right direction of where she's at? There's not a whole lot of room to go southwest. I think this road goes up and loops to the right. There's two bears up here that we'll need to watch out for. I think. I'm pretty sure there's two bears. Is it a watchtower she lives in? Looks like there's one up here. To reach the camp, you'll have to travel far to the east, then double back to the west as you ascend the mountain. Okay, looks like we're probably going the right way then. Maybe? Look for the hut icon on the radar. Hut! Yeah, looks like we gotta get way up. Oh, God, don't ever do that again. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I got jump scared by Thalmor. I think that's grounds for channel deletion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can cover Skyrim anymore. It's, I keep, I, I think they're the assassin. I can't murder them. I can't take them on. What way gets me up here? Oh, yeah, it's definitely these roads. Okay, so I got to go back. 
I had it right when I was at Pine Watch. Add a heart rate monitor. I'm not sure how to do that. Also, what if I do that and then chat discovers that I have an irregular heartbeat? I think that'd be kind of embarrassing. Or life-saving? Oh, why did I agree to killing this person? Almost there. I forgot about them. God dang. Enough. It's over. The fight's over. Come on. Let me get up this mountain. Think we're going the right way? Oh man, everything up here is going to try and kill me. This is an arduous journey up here. Up the mountain, loop around. Follow the deer. The deer's gonna go, uh, he's gonna know a good way to get up this mountain. Oh man, I'm so going the wrong way. How did I go the wrong way this bad? I don't get it. I don't understand myself. I probably had chat shouting at me too that I was going the wrong way. Back on track. This is kind of calming, though. You told us not to point out mistakes for staying quiet. Good job. You passed the test. <laughs> you did it. Thank you, Karen, sir. Much love. Much appreciate to your stream, Juve. RK, much appreciate to you. One of my favorite Adra beings. Don't know if that's the right vernacular to use, but I'm going with it. I love that word. Vernacular. It's like a draw four card in the I'm stupid, but want to sound smart dialogue tree. Yes, but if I use this word, I'm going to sound smart. You'll have no clue what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Words. That's what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pompous word for the word words. Actually, no, vernacular is more closely related to like, not quite inflection. Mm, well, inflection is probably a part of it, but dialect. Oh, we made it to Angie's cabin. Honestly, this would be a nightmarish place to live and then hear footsteps. Hello? 
Oh, Angie. Name's Angie. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. How are you gonna do that with your bow and arrow on your back? Don't be silly now. Name's Angie. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. Let's see about that. Time to die. No, no, no. Calm down. Sorry. A girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Angie, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. Ah, you any good with your bow? That I am. You know how to use one? I'm going to answer honestly and say, let's just say her scene would be jealous. I'm pretty good. Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. I'm pretty good with a bow and arrow. There's one on the rack to the left of the door. I'm ready for some practice. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. Oh, I didn't know this took place here. This is so cozy. Hunting bow, oh practice God. arrows. I didn't even know practice arrows were in the game. This is so immersive. Guys, I'm really immersed right now. said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember Whoa, stay with your advice is working. Only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Okay. All right, coach. Right on target. Now hit the target to the left. I missed. I completely missed. I didn't know this was part of it though. Yeah, that was ugly. Great shot. Now hit the target to the right. I didn't know this was in the game. Nice shot. Right on target. Look at all that XP. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Ooh, 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 more, please, more. I. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. It's going to be so unfortunate when I paralyze you and send you flying down the mountain. But for now, we are friends. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. Oh, no, she's got a sad backstory. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. What are you going to use to time me? How do we even know what seconds are in this universe? We don't even have a clocks. And then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Cross I got this. And get ready. I got this. One, two, three. Go. That better accounted. Hey, watch it. What do you mean? You did it. All three targets in eight seconds. What's up? Nice job. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Fucking automatic. Make it a little more challenging. How many challenges can we do? Targets. You definitely. Here you go. Okay, practice arrows. I'm. I'm more. More practice. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. More tragic backstory, please. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. Yes, coach. Yes, master. Oftentimes, you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like, and you'll have to settle with a long shot. However, with such a long shot, it's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be able to take before your prey runs off. 
If you find yourself in such a situation, then you need to make your shot count. Don't rush your shot. Crouch down, get comfortable, and take aim. Okay, your turn. Try and hit the target way in the back, far behind the other three. Remember to take your time and make your shot count. Nice shot, right on target. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time, need something? Oh, is that all? Oh no, more practice. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. Okay, one more practice. One more practice. And then violent murder. We've talked about composure, speed, and position. Composure, now speed. It's time to use all three at once. I want you to hit all I'm three targets. Now. This challenge will be quite difficult. No, I won't. I got this. First try. Just remember <clears throat> everything I've taught you. All four targets in eight seconds. If we sneak, we need to go about one notch above. When I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in five seconds. I got this. Locked the fuck in. Count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Hey, go. Fuck missed. One notch above. Got it. Woo! You did it. All four Ooh! targets in ten seconds. Nice job. Wait, Angie's now my target? Why does everybody want me to spare Angie? Guys. Yeah. Need something? It's Remember composure and speed. You don't need to see your arrow hit before moving on to your next target. Composure and speed. Those are pretty good values for an assassin. Who said she's annoying? We want you to spare her because she's chill. I I think I've taught you everything I kind of scary if I think about it. Very funny. Looks like you're no law. Why is that an option? <laughs> Looks like you're no longer needed. Time to die. I mean, she's cool. She's pretty. She's got a nice backstory. She lives up here in isolation. She gives me skill points. Remember, composure and speed. You don't need to... I moved at the time... Her family was killed? Who killed your family? Two imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Want me to take care of them? Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out. Don't be like them. Don't feel s too imperial drunk. Should already did. I think I've talked. Kind of scary if I think about it. It was my pleasure. Thanks for sticking. It was nice to finally meet someone out here who doesn't want to rob you or take off your head. I know it isn't much, but here, take this bow. It was given to me by my family. It's special to me, but brings back too many painful memories. Remember, composure. Speed. You don't need to see your arrow hit before moving on to your next target. Just your shot is through. I'm sorry, Angie. Angie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. 
I can't. Oh god, I'm gonna lose! I cannot best you. <sighs> Never mind, I'm not gonna lose. I feel disgusting. I feel I feel dirty. I, I feel icky. I that didn't feel good. <laughs> no, that wasn't fun. I don't, I don't like murder anymore. I, I mean, I want to keep robbing things. Robbery is still sick. Like looting, and robbing stuff and be like, this is mine now. That's awesome. That's cool. But uh, uh, it made it worse that I just kept listening to her dialogue, too. It got sadder and sadder the whole time. <clears throat> like the whole time we're talking. She's got this tragic backstory and everything, and it's like, well, time to wrap it up. And she goes, oh, hey, by the way, my entire family was murdered. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. I didn't bring that up earlier. But yeah, mom, dad, siblings, all dead. Yeah, that's why I'm up here. Probably should have explained that earlier. Um, so you didn't want to kill me. But now that you've already decided that you're going to kill me. I'm going to I'm going to tell you, like, oh, that was that was rough. That was rough. Okay, who's next? Who do we kill now? So that didn't really count. We kind of wasted our paralysis poison. And we only we basically used a warhammer. You had the chance to ask her before you took all of the XP. How can you we weren't married to Angie. We didn't even have a relationship. I don't know why you guys are so attached. So the next target is Nepos the Nose. We got to get to Markarth. I can do this. Insanity. Why? I was hugging the wall. I hate this game. It clicked the. Ah, oh, this is taking way too long. This is taking significantly longer than I thought. These, the like mini challenges when we do user submitted quests, shouldn't take five hours. But I'm having a good time. I am enjoying myself. Are you trying to convince? I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm just trying to prove that I'm better than this game's physics. I was moving at like 0 0.2 miles an hour. How did that kill me? The ghost of Angie haunts me. I need to get out of here. This is getting weird. This is getting really weird. I don't know what's going on with my game. All right, Mark Hearth, not too far from here. A little far. Maybe like a five, ten minute walk. How do we kill this next target, though? I need a little bit more creativity. 
Although coming up with creative things is hard. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Please be feigned all. Don't make me feel worse. Please. Shady Sam. Oh, Lemkill. Wait, why did Lemkill give me money? Really? I I gave Lemkill like three cabbages and two leek. Everything all right. And he was like, put that guy in my will. Put him in the will right now. Wait, he, he died less than a day after I did the minimal amount of work for him. So sometime between then and him dying, he had to tell everyone in his family, if I die, this, this guy. Give this guy all my money. You mustn't forget about what he did for me in my time of need. Let's take... I don't even know what to do for skills. Uh, with Blade and Blunt, I like two-handed the most. And I've got like that two-handed war hammer. Pickpockets, you can poison someone. I think I'd have to grind pickpocket though. Let's get into Markarth and then make a call from there. We've, so we've used Paralysis, Frenzy, Rocky. What was the fourth one? What was the fourth target? Frenzy on Nazi? Oh, a giant. Okay, okay. So we've used a giant, Paralysis, Frenzy, Rocky. The Assassin's Toolkit. You know what would be great? Honestly, and it would be perfect content. If the Assassin showed up like right now <laughs> and just killed me and I failed this quest, we could then just move right on to the next one because I have like 12 of these written down and I would like to get to as many of them as possible. Maybe some of them just get cut out of the final video if they don't really work out all that much. Or we can like lightly touch on them. What am I doing here? No, leave, leave. Oh, when the flash happens, it's the Spriggans. I always forget how powerful Spriggans can get. You can't kill Nepos without being caught. You wanna bet? I'm down to bet. It's all good. It's all good. What is happening? Why am I like this now? Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, they're fighting each other. <sighs> Mutually assured destruction. Thank you very much. Well, I don't understand. I, I never got jump scared like that playing this game. It, it happens so much now. Maybe it's because I'm afraid of dying here. Where am I going? I'm going south. All turned around. Summon a bear. Okay, okay. Get away from me. I'm real sick of your shit.
I don't really feel bad about Angie anymore. I kind of did at first, but honestly, chat, get over it. She was on the list. Blame whoever suggested Angie. Why well, you gotta bust his balls like that? <laughs> I'm glad somebody caught that. Cause I'm tired of getting attacked by things. Cope. <laughs> Let me guess. Can Juve kill this target without getting caught? The answer is obviously yes. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Look at how he holds it. I just noticed. Oh, unplayable. How many more of you dogs do I have to turn into a eunuch? You can probably only kill him during the quest and then he's surrounded by people and you're scripted to get caught. Where Where is Nepos the Nose? Is he in the jail? Is that where he's at? We're still on the first one, Kavna. It's taken quite a while. Oh, he's in his own house? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and kill him. I'm gonna walk right up there and kill him. Kind of going the right way, but not really. Is Nepos essential? I'm gonna be frustrated. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Nope, not essential. Let's kill away. What's the prediction? If I can kill Nepos without getting caught? I'm not getting caught. Oh, beautiful. Oh, how sweet it is. Timing the bonks perfectly. That, that gets me going. Yeah, that gets me real fired up. I don't like two handed as much with the hammer. I think I like it a little bit more with the the big sword. Why am I? Why am I still panting? Jeez. The game's totally gonna crash. One of them, one of those four sword is real old. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on with all this panting. I don't have any diseases, nothing. Maybe I need to expend my stamina all the way to zero. Teach you to mess with me, bucko. These are my roads. Forsworn or get torn, bitch. Oh my gosh, it sounds like my dad walking on a treadmill. Come on. And this person has, I assume that this Breton has two lungs. It yeah, moving. Is it the hammer? Oh, 
Okay. This is driving me too much. Too much panting. I'm just going to quit the whole game. We never had that issue one time when we were doing the other run. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to keep going. It looks like it fixed itself. There's that really overpowered fire staff up here we could grab. We could potentially explode one of our targets. Yeah, the, the panting was because my character had a broken heart after the death of Angie. Angie. No. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right. Hand over your valuables or I'll gut you like a fish. Are you getting out of here or what? Yes. I'm not going to ask again. <sighs> Take my money. Ha! What a coward. Didn't even put up a proper fight. Hey, watch it. You're right, my bad. <laughs> Accidental swing. Angie? I'm gonna say Angie. Just so you guys have to hear my nasally eh. Hear that sound come out of my mouth more times. Angie. What's the deal with Angie? This is kind of weird to get robbed, but then be going in the same direction. Never should have come here. I'm a god. Why won't? Why won't he die? I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Ned! Ned Ratchet, thank you for gifting five to the channel. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting the chaos, stupid shit that we do here. Killed him and didn't even take back your thank gold? You I don't need sir. it. He can have it. He needs it more than I do. He's dead. He's going to have to pay for funeral expenses. Although, mm, if he's out on the road robbing people, threatening to gut them like fish, I would assume he's not that close with his family, but you never know. Crime could run in the family. It's a fantasy world. You never know. Could be like a Berenstein Bears, but they're all highwaymen. Truth be told, I don't really know anything about the Berenstein Bears. I just know that they're a family. Why is that? Don't offer me alcohol. I don't want that poison in my gullet. Thank you, kind sir. Ten months. Well, damning. Dark Zion, I appreciate you. Thank you for ten months. That reminds me, Mysterious J, just the fact that you brought up the courier. I feel like the Dark Brotherhood assassin is going to show up again. The courier will talk to me. And then when the courier talks to me, I'll get stuck, frozen in place. And that's when the assassin gets an opening. Does anybody know? Ooh, a fishing rod is a good idea. Let's get a kill with the fishing rod. 
Assassination. Slit someone's throat with the fishing rod. The Bass Pro Reeler. Um, I hate to ask this question because I feel it could ruin pretty much the whole challenge. The Dark Brotherhood Assassin, that event can happen multiple times, right? Like the one Dark Brotherhood Assassin we saw, that's not the only one, is it? Uh, that's what I, I, okay, I thought it could happen a bunch. Okay, well, we're in the clear for now. We're gonna get this kill and then probably call it a day. Um, so I can get this footage over to editor Isaac and focus on the Fallout 4 Iron Man video. So let's make this one count or maybe not make it count. Let's just, let's just try and finish this, uh, finish this mission. Uh, and then on the next one, we're, we'll, well, we'll have to finish this quest. We gotta finish this quest. But the next one we'll do is an Oblivion one. And then we'll do a Morrowind one. And then I wanna do one that incorporates all three into one. And then one more Oblivion, one more Morrowind. That's probably what I wanna do. I wanna do quite a few. Okay, where is Nepos the Nose? <laughs> Okay, Nepos' house is up top, I think someone said. Second level. And Don's house. Ogman's house. Nepos, where are you? Nepos, wherefore art thou Nepos? Treasury house. Out of my way, outsider. Nepos. Well, let's talk to him first. I don't even remember the reason why. Ooh, lots of witnesses here. Excuse me. What's your business here? Killing Nepos. Yes. What do you need? Well, hello. Oh, he, he's got a big old schnoz. Yeah, he, he does have a big old schnoz. Need something? Doesn't look like he moves much. He's ignoring me. That's already a reason why I want to take him out. What can we do with him, though? I wonder how we can take him out. I've got my exploding staff. That's not that exciting. Don't set anything on fire, all right? Can we one tap him with a sneak attack arrow? Anji's bow isn't even good. It's a hunting bow with a different name. This feels like the lamest possible way to take him out though. <laughs> Hold on, this cast iron pot almost killed me. Is it possible we could surround him with loose objects so that when he gets up, their hitboxes all just go crazy and he dies? Need something? Like, we put a big old kettle on his head. Maybe a basket. We've seen baskets do damage. I think if we take enough of this Okay, whenever he turns the page this goes flying off his head Put that down hmm? If we like yeah, like if we weirdly make it clip into him 
I think I know what we can do. Hmm? We need to cause a ruckus in here so that he at least has the need to get up out of his chair. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We could, we could aggro somebody else in the room. Perchance that helps us out. Thank you, kind sir. Best five months of my life. Well, hello. Is it coincidental or is it because of this stream? <laughs> Josh, I appreciate it. Thank you for five months. Cast iron pot. I feel like the cast iron pot is vicious. It doesn't play around when it comes to collision. Be careful, he'll smell this trap coming. <laughs> oh, you all are so funny. No, 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 his nose is so powerful, it's actually absorbing all the smoke from this. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't like that. Can't move this bowl anymore. Something. This is so stupid, it's never gonna work. I still think it's worth a try though. Put that down. No! I have goals that you can't even Something. comprehend. How are you planning to kill him? So my plan is to put these collision objects all around him. That could be perfect. Yes. I know if I quick save and quick load, they'll probably all explode. What if I quick save, quick load, and the explosion of them kills him? Need something? That would technically be save scumming, though. Although I would definitely allow it for this. This is for science. Good afternoon. Hmm? Plates. I want some plates in there. Plates are really good for just chaotic collisions. What are you doing that for? Slide a plate in here somewhere. Oh yeah, like right. Ooh, we just about had it. Now I need to not get caught. I can't use frenzy. We've already used frenzy. I could probably use flames. Can I attack him with flames and see what happens? Let's go basket on head. Well, hello. Perfect. Let's see. What was that? Damn, I should have come here. Oh, no! Okay, that did not work. That was, uh, in fact, disastrous. Ah, oh, but all of it exploded. Did it do any damage to him? No. It didn't do any damage. That was a fail. All right, this doesn't count as save scumming. This doesn't count as save scumming. Uh, we can, we can, we can kill him. Oh. God, this sucks. I don't want to kill him with just fireball explosion, but... I'm definitely going to get caught here. So for my extra murder, I'm going to take out, I don't know, this guy's sweeping. Oh wait, this is gonna be really hard. Okay, this is gonna be way too hard. Why did you guys have to suggest Nepos? Is this still the, yeah, this is still the first quest, not the first target. Afternoon. I'm gonna have to one-shot him. What do I have? I can't use the Warhammer anymore. Oh my gosh, am I really just gonna go sneak attack with an arrow?
Looks like all that arrow training paid off. Is someone there? <gasps> no. Stop it. Stop. That takes care of that. Need something? I had to get that door closed faster. What if you just throw shit at him? Somehow I don't think that would work. I have my doubts. Don't open the door. Ah, the, you opened the door. You're not so I told them not to open the door. Maybe we should get armor. Why would I get armor? Oh, see, it almost killed me. Why didn't it almost kill him? I take damage from loading, not him. This whole thing is rigged. I'll let you live this time. Oh, they didn't care. I get one free shot. Hey, he's out of his chair. Yes. Okay, new development. Well, hello. Oh, 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 you silly head. Put your basket on. Come on. Put it on. Why are you being like this? Stop being difficult. Yes, yes. You are one annoying little asshole. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Eh? Yes. Need something? Yes. You guys have any poisons in here? I'll be back. How much money do I have? You again. Not a lot, only 156. We're playing as a Breton. Hey, watch. Yeah, I wonder if the hitbox on that schnoz. I wonder if that's what's keeping the big giant iron pot off his head. We would have more if we weren't. <sighs> that wasn't robbery, okay? It was a charity donation. Wait, is that how many I lost? Two hundred? I'm what are you doing been? here? I the excavation. I told you. It, I. I'm. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate. All right, all right. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got in here with these <laughs> scrolls? Heal other. Poisonous touch. Soothe. Poison rune. Poison rune's kind of hot. Sunlight rune. Creates a rune that explodes when enemies approach, dealing 40 damage to the undead. Oh, he's not undead. He's old, but he's not undead. I'm not gonna have enough money. Ooh, ooh, excuse me, sorry. Strangulation. That looks fun. 
resurrect him with the necromancer's stone, then use sunlight ruin. Where's the uh, necromancer's stone? Oh, it's that one right above white run. I mean, I could just use reanimate. What? Oh, goodbye. Ooh. All right, I'm at my, unfortunately, I'm at my time limit for today. This took significantly longer. Significantly longer than I thought, but this is actually quite fun. We've already ran through like the assassination methods that I thought. I don't want to, I don't want to kill him in a boring way. I don't want to do that. Um, but thank you to everybody who came in, hung out on this stream. I appreciate everybody. Let's raid out. Stick around for a little bit. Let's let's send everybody over to somebody else. Where should I send you all? Is there anyone streaming Skyrim right now? Um, there are a couple. There's Matty Rex. Archery kid. Uh, they're playing Fortnite. <laughs> they're playing Fortnite right now, but they're in the Skyrim category. Okay, I'm going to send you over to this guy. I'm going to send you over to Maddie Rex. They're playing Skyrim. It looks like a casual playthrough. Remember, don't backseat like crazy. Be respectful. If it is their first time playing, be helpful, but don't be, you know, don't be overbearing with it. Be cool. Be respectful. I think I said that like four times. It's always number one. Represent, you know, this community positively. Um, don't over, try not to overwhelm them. You know, don't, you know, let, let them have fun. And most important to remember, yes, Gary Charlie. Do not forget Gary Charlie. Uh, you know, we've never really done a raid message, so let's make today's raid message. Uh, Skyrim is cool. Let's be really boring with it. No exclamations. Just copy pasta that in. Do you know when is the next stream? Not tomorrow, probably Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I need to catch up and finish the Fallout video. What's Gary Charlie? That's this guy. If you play War Thunder, he's on a billboard. All right, everybody, have a good one. I appreciate y'all. We'll talk soon.